innovation, integration, industry-based learning, inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy.
Paminog ka sumanaman mig tukul to langit Woy mig tumpi to tanok Kasublan maroson no kunog ko ilingan Kamig balin tutuan no ye No sub-sub to kanamin gaynawah Woy mig punan to kanamin umul tumulo na anon na No mig pogbono sa init ampo to ingod Sa init kay kunto manaman amoy no ritibur san to langit Og sampit to maroson nun ngaran na Dumat to kay kon mo panisingan na Kakalayag tahun liyag Karang, panayangan, pamulingan, mandalingan, woy, tumaw dumapad, sublapad ni Arit Harikal, namig bahayan nito, katongod, tapog nongnong, tapog pataha, ayog patanod, tanod, kanami, tumatolos nun tularo, no nakawagrit, get ampot, kawihana, ayog kaasolom, duok kaupianan, woy, katubungan, magbabayo, sa inika ko din tugtubaron, igbohay kuro, diyo ko ikaw, ka magbabayon mamin, Toran, manama, noolog, nagdayrayan. A'udhu billahi minna shaytanur rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Arrahmanirrahim. Malik yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina salat al-mustaqim. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم اجمع شمل الأمات والنصارى والمسلمين في الفلبين وصلت مجتمعنا هذا بالسلم والأمن والتقدم في وطننا هذا آمين يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع عنا البلاء والوباء والزلازل وسيء الأسقام وما ظهر منها وما بطن خاصة كوبيد 19 المنتشرة في العالم يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا أداب النار وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم آمين يا رب العالمين Almighty Father, Creator of heaven and earth, we adore and worship your holy name, our healer, baptizer, savior, and coming king. We stand in awe to your every creation in land, seas, and air. We humble ourselves, asking for forgiveness for our trespasses. Purify us, cleanse us, make us worthy to call upon you. We thank you, God, for the salvation you freely gave through Jesus. Today, we call unto you to bless us and be a blessing to others. Empower our leaders, our teachers, give courage to the parents and inspiration to the young ones. May we always celebrate life and love. May we always acknowledge that without you, we are nothing. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pantay-pantay na pagtingin 
ibabahagi ang katotohanan Bawat bata ay may karapatan Sama-sama sa pag-abot ng tagumpay Di susuko sa mga pagsubok sa buhay Babaunin ang karunungang natutunan Maging mabuting alimbawa sa karamihan Edukasyon sa panabo, panalo Panabuan, sigurado Sangay ng lungsod ng panabo Aming liyan, minamahal ng may kapal Ang aming hangarin ay Itatatak sa aming puso't tandangin Maglilingkod ng buong katapatan Innovation, integration, industry-based learning. 
inspiration. This is the Division of Panabo City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Good morning, Nevisayas. Good morning, Panabo City. Mabuhay po ang Panabo City Division. Today is Friday. It is January 14, 2022. And Happy New Year po para sa ating lahat. And when it is Friday, it's Reading Day. Ayan po, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. At sa lahat po ng ating mga avid viewers at sa lahat po ng ating mga tagapakinig dito sa ating programa ngayong umaga. Ayan po, welcome po dito sa Unlimited Stories for Reading Delights. This is the first edition or this is the first series of stories that we are going to render to our children, to our learners dito sa ating Panabo City Division ngayong taong ito, 2022. Kaya, Happy New Year po sa ating lahat. Ayan po. We are saying hi to all of us, to all of you who are still watching, who are still tinatakilik ang ating programa, ang ating sariling atin. And for sure na ang ating mga learners dito sa Sa, sa Panabo City Division ay handa na rin na makinig sa mga panibagong kwento na ihahatid sa atin ng ating mga kaguruan dito lamang sa Panabo City Division. Ang lahat po, ang, ang lahat po ng ating maririnig ay magbibigay sa atin ng magandang aral. Ayan po, napakaganda ng ating morning this very this very day at maulan, medyo malamig, kaya ang mga bosses natin ay medyo kakaiba, kagaya ng bosses ko ngayon. Medyo malamig kasi dito sa ating lugar ngayong umaga, kaya medyo merong mga uh, epekto sa ating mga vocal cords this very morning. But anyway, ayan po, it's let's enjoy this very morning together with our teachers, to our storytellers, to our learners, and of course, sa lahat po ng ating mga tagapakinig. Thank you for, for, thank you sa lahat ng ating mga tagapasubaybay dito sa ating, sa ating mga, sa ating FB page, sa lahat po ng ating naki, na, nanunood dito sa ating FB page ng Panabo City Division Reading Delights. We are saying good morning po sa ating lahat. And of course, sa lahat po ng ating mga suking tagapakinig dito lamang sa Nevisayas on air 99.0 AM radio for a good start. Ako po ang iyong lingkod this very morning. I am Teacher Sheila Maridian Strayas of Nevisayas Central Elementary School. Bago po tayo makapag bago po tayo makapag-proceed sa ating mga tagapagkwento ngayong umaga, let me greet also our deputy officials. Ayun po ang ating and headed by our school's division superintendent, no other than Dr. Reynante Sulitario. Ayan po, good morning po, sir. And of course, to our ASDS, Mom Febigay Rafa Monte. To our CID chief, Surgeon Wayu Iyamota. And of course, to Mom Aileen Anuevo, our SGOD chief. And of course, lahat po ng ating mga education program supervisors, Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat, especially to our education program supervisor in English as well as our division reading coordinator, Ma'am Maria Perpetua Angelita G. Sueldo. And of course, to our education program, program supervisor in Filipino, Sir Peter Mihades. To our education program supervisor in MTB, Ma'am Joanne Aguilar at to our Education Program Supervisor in Araling Pangipunan, Ma'am Marisa V. Hayong. At sa lahat po ng ating mga Education Pro Program Supervisors, magandang umaga po. At sa lahat po ng ating Public Schools District Supervisors. And of course, sa ating Public Elementary and Secondary School Heads. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ayan, binangabati na ba natin ang lahat? Now this time... Of course, hindi din natin palalapasin na batiin ang ating mga parents as well as our, our guardians this very morning sa siguradong together with the learners, sinusuportahan nila ang kanilang mga mag-aaral o ating mga mag-aaral para sa pagsubaybay ng ating programa ngayong, ngayong umaga. Ayan, napakaganda ng araw na ito. Thank you Lord for giving us a new day to celebrate your goodness because all the things that you have done in us are good and perfect. Ayan, though this time, do not forget also to like our page and of course mag-react po dito at i-share ito at mag-comment po sa ating comment 
section. Yan po ang pinakamagandang i- maibabahagi natin sa ating programa as our part of our engagement. Dito po sa ating programa ngayong umaga. And of course, for sure lahat ng mga learners natin sa Panabasig Division are so excited na mapakinggan ang kanilang mga kaguruan na makita din dito sa ating sa ating live for today na magbahagi ng kanilang mga ng kanilang mga kwento. Ayan po. And of course, huwag kalimutan na i-shout out po ang ating mga schools, uh, reading program Diyan po sa ating comment section and of course sa lahat po ng ating mga uh, nagsusubaybay o sumusubaybay ngayong umaga. Don't forget to comment your name, also your school, dyan sa ating comment section. Ayan po, meron tayong mga moments mamaya na pwede natin basahin ang mga comments natin. Isip bahagi or isip bahati sa ato ang kanang binatawag na programa karong buntaga. Ayan. And this time... Hindi na natin patatagali ng ating mga ang ating pag, pagbabasa ng ating mga uh, pag-i-introduce pala ng ating mga story readers this very morning. Handa na ba tayo? Ayan. So, thumbs up lang po tayo. Ayan. And before that, we're just going to give to you or to read to you some of the comments sa ating comment section. Good morning watching from San Vicente Elementary School, Grade 6 Rizal. Advisor po si Ma'am Michelle Hain. Malumbaga, ayan. Thank you po. And of course, to to Princess Denise Bedano. Ayan, good morning po. Watching from Rizal Elementary School. From Angel Kate plus Sabas. Ayan, hi everyone. Watching from Panabo Central Element, Panabo, Panabo Central, or Panabo City National High School. Ayan po. Mas pas po kaya nga po ang mga comments karong mga buntaga because there are so many people who are engaging with our program. Ayan po, nagpapasalamat po kami. Delaine Montenegro Cachuela, of course, watching from um, watching from their school, of course, from Nanyo Central Elementary School. Ayan, Akisha Kiran, Kirante, ayan, watching from Panabo Central Elementary School. And of course, to Chires Joseph, saying good morning ayan, to our education program supervisor also. We're saying good morning to you. Sa anak po ng ating education program supervisor, Ma'am Yunaisa Marie Hayoma, saying good morning. Watching from San Vicente Elementary School, our reading program is Read Alert. Ayan. And so many more. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments na binigay sa atin ngayong umaga dito sa ating Sa ating programa, walang iba kundi ang Unlimited Stories for Reading the Lights. Now, this time I will be reading to you our first story reader. Handa na ba tayo? Thumbs up lang po. Ayan. So this time, ang una nating tagapagkwento ngayong umaga ay mula sa A.O. Florendo Elementary School. Ayan. And their school head is Mom Maria Victoria V. Gloria. And the reading program is Binulig Reading Program. Ang istorya na iyahang, i- iyahang isulti sa ato ang karong buntaga naguluhan kini nga ang gagmay nga pasayan. Ayan, kailan ba taong sa'yo pasayan? Ang pasayan, lamit po na siya. Mga bata ang pasayan, pagkao na siya. Ayan, kinisinuwat o gidibuho mismo sa ato ang maghatag sa iyong istorya karong buntaga. Yan, di ilang siya tagapagkwento this very morning, but he is also, or she is also gifted by um, giving us a very wonderful story and of course, ang pag-illustrate ni Amy. So this time, help me welcome our first story reader, a friend of mine, Ma'am, Brenaline A. Estoris. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. May buntag Panabo, may buntag Teacher Sheila, ilabi na sa atong schools division superintendent, Sir Nante A. Solitario, sa atong SDA, ASDS, Ma'am Phoebe G- A. Gay Rifamonte, um, sa itong MTB Schools uh, Education Program Supervisor, Ma'am Joanne P. Aguilar, at sa 
Um, New Visayas Elementary School Principal na si Sir Julius Suelto, maying buntag sa atong sa amuang school head sa A.O. Florendo Elementary School, si Ma'am Victoria A. Gloria, at sa aming school reading coordinator na si Ma'am Jenny B. Sudaria. At sa lahat po ng mga nanunod, maying buntag sa inyong tanan. Um, ang atong istorya karong adlawan nag-uluhang ang gamay nga pasayan. Ako si Teacher Brennalyn A. Isturis, ikan sa A.O. Florendo Elementary School, o ang akong student interactor mao si Hailey Kate A. Filasul. So karon, good morning Hailey. Good morning ma'am, Brad. Hi! So, atong sugdan karon ang story na to. Gamay nga pasaya. Yes, ang gamay nga pasaya. Okay. So, ang gamay nga pasaya, sinulat o gidibu ni Ma'am Brennalyn A. Stories. But before that, ato sa ang mga pudong na makita na to unya sa ato ang historia. Una, langob. Ang langob or sa laing term, koy ba or lungib. Bangag kini o gamay nga espasyo nga na forma sa usa ka bato. Kung makita ninyo ang picture, mauna siya ang langob. Ikaduha, higala. Kung sa other term pa, amigo or amiga. Suod nga kauban. O ang atong word of the day, tipasi. Kaila bang mo tipasi? Kini ang gamay nga parte sa butang o usa ka lugar sa palay or kanon. Mao na siya ang nasa picture. Okay, so atong sugdan ang atong istorya, ang gamay nga pasayan. Okay, aduna yu sa kamalipayon nga pasayan ug hilig kayo niya ang mukanta. Mukanta siya kung maliko sa gawa sa balay sa birthday o bisan na asa pang lugar. Malipayon ang iyang mama nga maminaw sa iyang kanta. Apan, kipahimang nuan siya nga dili sa tanang panahol o lugar, pwede siya mukanta o kusog ang tingog kay makadisturbo kini. Pananglita na ni ini, umukaon, mag-apo, kung adunay nagpahulay o natulog. Pangota na Hayley, nga nung dili sa tanang panahon, pwede mo kanta o kusog. A. Mahadlok ang uban. B. Makadisturbo sa uban. Or C. Kaganahan ang uban maminaw. B. Makadisturbo sa uban. Okay. Na ba nag-answer? Okay, according to Lina Taniel, letter B. Ingon po si Kate Z. Nazareno, letter B. Si Brain Kaiser, letter B po daw. Rafael Toledo, letter B. Lee Manuel Manlangit Takmoy, letter B. Salamat sa inyong answer. So, ang tama nga ito ba, guy? Letter B. Tama. Very good. So, sunod. Samtang laglaag ang gamay nga pasayan, nagkanta-kanta siya o kusog. Nasugatan niya ang iyang mga higala nga sila pawikan, oktopuda o sibulunaw. Asa ka mo ato mga higala? Pangota niya sa gamay nga pasayan. Sa langob kay nindot magdula dito, hindi niya pawikan. Pangota na, Hayley. Kinsa ang mga nasugatan ni Pasayan samtang nagkanta-kanta siya? A. Si Oktopuda? Ulinaw o Pawikan? B. Si Butanding? Pating? Lumba-lumba? Or C. Dugong, Bangos, or si Tuyom? A. Si Oktopuda, Ulinaw o Pawikan? Okay. So according sa atong mga viewers, ingon si Kate Alexa, letter A. Um, si Mackenzie, ingon siya letter A. <laughs> Then si Crin, si Akesha Kiranti, letter A po daw. Annabelle Orcolio, letter A. Then si 
Um, Lee Manuel, manlangit tokmoy is letter A po daw. So, ang tama nga ito bagay? Very good. It's letter A. Congratulations. Then, di na ba dito nagpuyo si Inkong Alimango? Pangutanan ni Pasayan. Oo. Pero, ganahan ni magdula-dula dito. Tubag ni Bulinaw. Basing makuspusin kung alimango kung samok kung saba ang iyang palibot. Tingon ni Pasayan. Dili lagi. Manglamoy man tao kusog arong dili kung masakal. Kutsad si Kutupuda. Pangutana. Kinsa ang nagpuyo sa lango? A. Tuyong. B. Si Ingkong Alimango. C. Kabibe. B. Ingkong Alimango. Okay. Um, salamat, Hailey. Then according sa atong mga viewers, ingon si Hera Gwey, gain letter A. Si Yulde Di Kulangon, letter B. Si Julia Ocampo, ingon siya, letter B po daw. Then si Christ Joseph, letter B. Then si um, Francesca Isabel, letter B. So, ang taba nga ito bagay, letter B. Very good. It's letter B, si Inkong Alimango. Then, ni Kuyog si Pasayan sa iyang mga higala sa langob o giganahan siya dito. Daghang mga korales ang nakita niya o banda ang iyang tingukong usturya siya. Wow! Kanindot diri! Kalami mo kanta, ingon ni Pasayan. Sige, kami ang mukanta kay, dira, kay Manayaw Mi. Sige, kata dira kay Manayaw Mi, tubag ni Oktopoda. Nanayaw sila, samtang ni kanta o kusog kaayo si Pasayan. Apan, wala siya kay Balo, na ang gito, uhan niya nga ba to sa iyang likod, maukad to si Ingkong Alimango nga natulog. Nakurat si Ingkong Alimango ug nasipit niya sa iyang ikog si Pasayan. Nang langoy dayon o kusog ang iyang mga higala ug nabiyaan siya. Pangutana, unsa gibuhat sa iyang mga amigo sa dihang napakan si Pasayan? A. Nanago sa likod sa bato? B. Katawan si Pasayan? C. Gibiyaan si Pasayan? C. Gibiyaan si Pasayan? Okay, salamat Hailey. Basahon na to ang atong mga commenter. Ingon si Jatli Akyatan. Ingon, ingon si Alma Manliques, letter B. Si Erich Paman, ingon siya letters, letter C. Si Green Jomi, ingon siya letter C. Marian, letter C po daw. So, ang tama nga ito bagay, letter, letter C. Ilang gibiyaan si Pasayan. Very good. Naghilak ang gamay nga Pasayan kay wala na ang iyang mga amigo. Nasugamak siya kay wala, wala siya na minaw sa pahimangot sa iyang mama. Kaluoy sa pasayan, naghilap kay naputol ang iyang iko. Iko. Okay. Um, Hayley, pwede ba nato basahon ang moral lesson nato sa story? Number one. Una, mutuman sa pahimangno sa ginikanan kay naghuna-huna sila sa inyong kaayuhan. Kaduha, dili mo kuyog sa amigong dili maayo ang gim gibuhatan. Katulo, dili magsaba-saba kung adunay nagpahulay o natulog o lugar ni mo nga dili isuweto ang dili makadisturbo sa uban. Okay, very good. So, ang una nato, no, dili um, ang una nga moral lesson nato, dapat magtuman yun sa mga pahimangno sa atong ginikanan. Kahit tanan nilang pahimangno, makaayos sa ato ang uh, Uh, kinabukasan or sa ato ang um, sarili. Let, kaduha po, ayaw mo ukuyog sa mga amigo nga uh, mga dili maayo ang ilang mga binuhatan. Tapos, dili sa damag, sabasaba, samtang 
uh, nai natulog kay makadisturbo sila labi na ang kung nai nagampo or nai nagsimba kay para dili kita makadisturbo. Okay, so natay mga pangutan na after sa atong story. Ang atong una, asa nagpuyo si Ingkong Alimango? A. Sa bato, B. Sa korales, C. Sa langog. C. Sa langog. Okay, ang tama nga tubag kay letter C. Sa langog. Dito ang nagpuyo si Ingkong Alimango. Kaduha. Asa man napaakan si Pasayan? A. Sa iyang ulo, B. Sa iyang likod, or C. Sa iyang ikog? C. Sa iyang ikog. Okay. Ang tama nga ito bagay, letter? C. C. Very good. Salamat po sa mga answer dari sa comment section. Wala d'yo'y tama, ay wala d'yo'y mali sila nga answer. Tanan d'yo'y tama. Very good. Uh, number three. Ngano na napaakan man si Pasayan? A. Nanguha siyang pagkaon. B. Nakurat si Ingkong Alimango sa iyang pagkanta o kusog. C. Naigo siya samtang nagsayaw-sayaw ang mga higala. B. Nakurat si Ingkong Alimango sa iyang pagkanta o kusog. Okay, very good. Um, according to Lina Tanya, letter B. Ingon si Christ Joseph, letter B. Uh, ingon po si Judy, letter B. Very good. Ang tama nga answer kay letter B. Nakurat si Ingkong Alimango sa iyong pagkanta o kusog. Okay. Number four. Unsa kaha ang batio ni Pasayan nga gibiyaan siya sa iyang mga higala? A. Maguol. B. Nakurat. Or C. Malipay. A. Naguol. Okay. According to um la pag answer diri ano so ang um, tama nga tubag kay letter A ingon si lot lot letter A very good Haley letter A ang ang tubag naguol si Pasayan number 5 sa imong tanaw maayo ba ang gibuhat ni Pasayan nga ni kuyog siya sa langob ug mikanta og kusog A. Dili kay ni supak siya sa iyang mama nga dili mangitsturbo sa uban. B. Oo kay ang iyang mga amigo ug amiga ang nanghagad niya. C. Oo kay managan raman sila kung, mukant, ay, kung makanta na ang tag-iya sa lango. Lango. Kung makamata na ang tag-iya sa lango. Okay. Ang say mo answer, Hayley. A. Dili kay ni Supak siya sa iyang mama nga dili magdisturbo sa uban. Okay. According to Carl Joseph, letter A. Ingon po si Itsumo Kukuro, letter A. Ingon si Precious Jewelry, letter A. Very good. Ang tama ang answer kay letter A. A. Yes. Kay ni Supak siya sa iyang mama nga dili magdisturbo sa uban. Pagdira na tapos ang atong story karong adlaw sa MTB lang di ay sa MTB. Salamat sa atong pupil interactor na si Haley Faith Filasol. At the same time, salamat po sa iyang mami nga si Mami Lovely Filasol o kay Ma'am Eden Isrico ng advisor ni Kate uh, ni Faith sa grade 3 Crimson. Kini si Teacher Brennaline. Dagang salamat sa pagpaminaw. Bye-bye, Mom! Thank you. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Thank you, Mom. Brennaline A. is stories of... A of Lorendo Elementary School together with her people interactor, Haley Kate Ferrazol, Section 3 Amara, and of, of course from A of Lorendo Elementary School. Ayan po, napakaganda na kanyang stories na ibinahagi sa atin na may 
uh, moral today na binahagi sa atin. Yung siya din hi, mutuman sa pahimang no sa ginikanan kay nagunahuna sila sa atuang kaayuhan. Dili usab kita mukuyog sa mga amigo nga, dili maayo o binuhatan. Ayan. Dili magsaba-saba kung adunay nagpahulay o nangatulog o bisan pa sa lugar nga dili nato suwito aron dili kita makadisturbo sa uban ayan a friendly reminder from our storyteller uh, Ma'am Brenalyn Stories ayan po maraming salamat po sa inyong ma- napakagandang kwento na ibinahagi sa atin ngayong umaga now this time we will be proceeding to our next storyteller ayan po ready na ba tayo ayan now, our next storyteller is coming from Rizal Elementary School Ang kanila pong punong guro ay si Ma'am Ramilin F. Antalan. At ang kanila pong reading program ay Rizal. Reading, Ingenuity, Zealous to Achieve Learning. At ang pamagat po ng kanyang kwento na ibabahagi sa atin ngayong umaga ay Mabi Tutubi na Kawili Wili. Ito po ay sinulat ni Suset May and Felicilda. Ayan po, iginuwit din ng ating, iginuwit din ito ng ating tagapagkwento. ng ngayong umaga and ito po ay third placer during the conduct of the third national competition on the storybook design and illustration on October 17 and 18, 2019 at DepEd Region 11 F. Torres Davao City Ayan, congratulations po Now this time, let us or help me welcome our story reader this very morning Ma'am Evelyn T. Evanias. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ay si Ginang Evelyn T. Ibanez na isang guru sa grade 1 SSES mula sa paaralan ng Rizal Elementary School, lungsod ng Panabo. Kasama ko ngayon ang isa sa aking mag-aaral sa grade 1 SSES na si Ariana Kate L. Clirino. O Ariana, kaway-kaway naman dyan! Hello, Ariana. Okay, ipakilala mo muna yung sarili mo, ate, sa ating magigiliw na tagapanood at tagapakinig. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Ako po ay si Ariana Kate L. Clarino, nasa grade 1 SSES ng Rizal Elementary School. Ang aking guro ay ating tagapagsalaysay na si Ginang Evelyn D. Ibanez. Ako ay anim na taong gulang. Maraming salamat po. Okay, maraming salamat din, Ariana. Okay, ngayong umaga ay babasahan ko kayo ng isang napakagandang kwento. At masaya akong ipaalam sa inyo na ako mismo ang gumuhit ng mga larawan sa kwento na ating babasahin ngayon. Ito ay tungkol sa isang insektong pilyo. Ang mga biro niya ay nakakasakit o nagdadala ng kapahamakan sa kanyang kapwa. Mailigtas kaya niya? Kaya siya mula sa tunay na kapahamakan? Tara, ating basahin ang kwentong may pinamagatang si Mabi Tutubi na Kawili-Wili. Ito ay isinulat ni Ginang Suzette May and Felicilda at iginuhit ng mismong inyong tagapagsalaysay Ginang Evelyn T. Ibanez. Okay, ang kwentong ito ay isang ay produkto na isang kompetisyon ng National Competition on Storybook Writing 2019. Ngunit bago ako bago tayo magsimula, mayroong mga salitang ngayon niyo pa lang makikilala o maririnig. Atin silang isa-isahin. Okay, Ate Ariana, maari mo ba akong tulungan sa pagbasa ng mga Na, na nasa screen yung mga talasalitaan. Okay, una. Tutubi. Okay, ang tutubi, isang uri ng kulisap o sa Ingles, dragonfly. 
Pangalawa? Kalabog. Okay, galing. Malakas na lagpak o kabog. Ang pangatlo? Nagpapag, nagpapapagpag. Okay, nagpapagpag. O, ibig sabihin, nagtatanggal. Ang kasunod, ate? Pulot. Okay, isang malagkit na likido na ginagawa ng mga bubuyo. Tumilapon. Tumilapon, pagtalsik ng isang bagay. At ang panghuli? Iwinagli. Okay, naiwala o kinalimutan. Okay, handa na ba kayo? O Ariana, handa ka rin, rin ba? Opo. Opo okay, sama-sama nating pakinggan ang kwento na may pinamagatang si Mabi Tutubi na kawili-wili. Ah, tulong, tulong! Ubod na lakas na sigaw ni Mabi Tutubi. Hala! Na paano ka, Mabi? Dagling lapit agad ni Mako Paru-Paro sa kanyang kaibigan. Nang si Mako Paru-Paro ay sobrang lapit na, bigla siyang itinulak ng kaibigang makulit. Aray! Ang sigaw ni Mako Paru-Paro. Ang pakpak ko! Ang sakit! At lumipad na si Mabi Tutubi papalayo sa bay sigaw. Biro lang mako. Wala nang nagawa at napaiyak na lamang ang paru-paro. Nakita naman ngayon ni Mabi Tutubi si Otap Alitaptap. Kanya itong ginulat at bug ang kalabog ng munting kulisap. Ha, 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 Gulat na gulat ka, Otap. Tawang-tawa na wika ni Mabi Tutubi. Girl, ikaw talaga, Mabi? Bakit ka ba nang gugulat? Ang galit na galit na sigaw habang nagpapagpag ng katawan si Otap Alitaptap. Nadumihan tuloy ang damit ni Otap nang mahulog sa dahon. Dahil sa pagkakagulat. Ha, 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 ha. Biro lang, Otap. At lumipad na papalayo si Mabi Totobe. Sa isang hardin, si Mabi Totobe ay nakarating. Nakita niyang abalang-abala ang mga bubuyog sa paghahakot ng pulot. Nakita ni Mabi Totobe ang kaibigan na si Yogyog Bubuyog. Dahan-dahan niyang nilapitan si Yogyog Bubuyog na nahihirapan sa daladalang pulot. Boom! Sigaw ni Mabi sa baylipad papalayo. Sa pagkagulat ay tumilapon ang pulot na dala ni Yogyog Bubuyog. Grrr! Ikaw talaga, Mabi! Mangiyak-iyak na wika ni Yugyug Bubuyog. Zzzz, isusumbong kita sa nanay mo. Galit na galit niyang hiyaw. Ha 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 ha, biro lang Yugyug. Malakas na sigaw ni Mabi Tutubi at lumipad na papalayo. Maghapon na ganoon ang ginagawa ni Mabi Tutubi. Manggulat ng manggulat. Hanggang naiinis na ang lahat. Kay Nanay Tutubi, sila ay galit na galit na nagulat. Nang makarating sa bahay nila si Mabi Tutubi, nakasimangot na ang kanyang nanay. Mabi, hindi ka na nakakatuwa. Mahinahon pa rin na sabi ng nanay niya. Biro lang po iyon, inay. Ang tila na kokonsensya niyang tugon. Anak, kapag ang biro mo ay nakakasama o nakakasakit, 
Huwag mo nang ipilit. Pangaral ng nanay. Baka sa susunod, ikaw na ang mapahamak. Imbis na matuwa, baka ikaw ang magiging kawawa. Ngunit si Mabi Tutubi ay sadyang makulit. Ang pangaral ng kanyang ina ay kanyang iwinaglip. Kagaya ng dati, masiglang masigla na lumilipad si Mabi Tutubi. Magahanap na naman siya ng insektong kanyang mabubuli. Hanggang makarating siya sa isang animoy tulay na may mga insektong nakatambay. Dahan-dahan siyang lumapag malapit sa isang tipaklong. Ngunit huli na ng kanyang malaman na ang tipaklong ay isa palang patibong. Nang iniangat niya ang kanyang paa sa sapot ng gagamba, ito ay nakadikit na pala. Tulong! Tulong! Ubod lakas na sigaw ni Mabi Tutubi. Napadaan si Maku Paruparo. Inakala lang niya niyang si Mabi Tutubi ay nagbibiro. Naku, Mabi Tutubi! Ikaw ngayon ay magsisisi. Hindi mo na ako maluloko sa iyong masamang biro. At tuloy ang lumayo si Mako Paroparo. Tulong! Tulong! Muli, ubod lakas na sumigaw si Mabi Totobe. Napadaan naman si Otap Litaptap at nakita si Mabi Totobe na sumisigaw. Nako, Mabi Totobe, ikaw ngayon ay magsisisi. Hindi mo na ako maluloko sa iyong masas- masamang biro. At tuluyang lumayo si Otap Alitaptap. Tulong! Tulong! Tulungan niyo ako! Halos napapaos ng sigaw, si Ma- ng sigaw ni Mabi Totobe. Nawawala na siya ng pag-asa. Kapag maabutan siya ni Usama Gagamba, tiyak na siya ay magiging ulam na malasang malasa. Napadaan naman si Yogyog Bubuyog. Nakita niya si Mabi Tutubi na hinang-hina na. Mabi Tutubi, ang biro na yan ay lubhang delikado. Labis na pag-aalala ni Yugyug Bubuyog. Hindi ako nagbibiro, Yugyug. Ubod lakas na niyang sambit. Sa sobrang pangihina, halos wala na siyang boses. Dagli nang lumipad si Yugyug Bubuyog upang manghingi ng tulong sa mga kaibigan. Pagbalik niya ay kasama na niya si Namako Paro-Paro at Otap Alitaptap na nag-aalangan. Ubod lakas nilang tinulungan si Mabi Tutubi upang maialis sa sapot. Hinila nila ng hinila si Mabi Tutubi hanggang maalis sa pagkapulupot. Hanggang sa wakas si Mabi Tutubi ay kanilang nailigtas. Kaya, Lubos-lubos ang pasasalamat ni Mabi Tutubi sa tatlo niyang kaibigang matapang. Humingi ng tawad si Mabi Tutubi ng taos puso at nangakong siya ay magbabago. Kaya ngayon, si Mabi Tutubi ay naging kawili-wili. Ang mga biro niya ay hindi na nakakasama at iniisip na niyang mabuti. At doon, nagtatapos ang ating kwento. Ariana, nandyan ka pa ba? Apo, apo, teacher. Okay, ano kaya ang aral na napulot mo sa ating kwento? <laughs> ang tunay na kaibigan ay hindi nag-iiwanan, dapat natin alagaan ang ating kaibigan dahil sila ang pwede natin lapitan sa oras ng pangangailangan at palaging humingi ng tawad kung nagkakasala man. 
Magaling, Ate Ariana. Aki, ngayon, magtatanong ako sa ating magiliw na nanunood at nakikinig. At ganun din sa iyo, Ariana, magtatanong ako. Aki, unang katanungan. Sino ang pangunahing tauhan sa kwento? Letter A, si Mabi Tutube. B, si Liling Langaw. Letter C, si Inday Ipis. Or letter D, si Larry Lamok. Okay, tingnan natin sa ating mga viewers. Okay, nang galing kay uh, Lot Lot Salas Nemenzo. Letter A, kay Chris Joseph. Letter A, mula naman kay Egan Carl Paman. Letter A, ang sabi niya. Okay, how about you, Ate Ariana? Ano yung sagot mo, Ate? Letter A for teacher, si Mabi Tutubi. Okay, tingnan natin kung tama ba ang inyong sagot, ang inyong mga sagot. Okay, ang sagot ay letter A, si Mabi Tutubi. Magaling. Okay, pangalawang tanong. Ano ang ginawa ni Mabi Tutubi buong maghapon? A. Natulog B. Nagtrabaho C. Nanggulat D. Nagluto Ano kaya ang sagot? Tingnan natin dito sa ating screen mula kay Angela Nicole Duhali Letter C Mula naman kay Evangeline N. Puson Letter C Wala naman kay Febi Palma. Letter C. At sa'yo naman, Ariana, ano yung sagot mo? Letter C po, teacher. Letter C, tama kaya yung sagot ninyo? Tingnan natin. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay nang gulat, mahusay. Okay, punta tayo sa ikatlong katanungan. Sino ang nakakita kay Mabi Tutubi at naghingi ng tulong sa iba pang kaibigan? A. Yugyug Bubuyog B. Otap Alitaptap C. Nanay ni Mabi O D. Tipaklong Okay, ano yung sagot Ate Ariana? A. Letter A po teacher, Yugyug Bubuyog Okay, mula kay... Ang um, bilis ng mga sagot. O, oh, Alma Minkes, letter A. Mula naman kay... Mitcha Mabitad, letter A. Rodeth Paluga, letter A. Okay, tingnan natin kung tama ba ang inyong mga sagot. Okay, letter A, si Yugyug Bubuyog. Okay. Okay, mahusay. Pang-apat na katanungan. Sino-sino ang tumulong kay Mabi Tutubi na maalis sa sapot ng gagamba? A. Sina Tipaklong at Usama Gagamba? B. Sina Yugyug Bubuyug at Nanay ni Mabi Tutubi? Letter C. Sina Usama Gagamba? O Tap Alitap-Tap at Tipaklong? O letter D. Sina Mako Paro-Paro? O tap alitap tap at yug yug bubuyog. Ano kaya ang sagot? Ate Ariana. Letter D po teacher, sinama ko para po alo, o tap alitap tap at yug yug bubuyog. Titingnan naman natin dito sa ating mga viewers. Sabi ni Alma Minkes, letter D. Sabi naman ni Diana Melsi, letter D. Sabi naman ni Daniel Diagro, letter D. Sabi naman ni Chris Joseph, letter D. Okay, tingnan natin kung ano yung tamang sagot. Okay, letter D. ba diba? Tatlo yun sila. Sina Mako Paro-Paro, Otap Alitap-Tap, at Yugyug Bubuyog. Okay, mahusay. Okay, punta tayo sa panglimang katanungan. Ano ang katangian mayroon si Mabi Tutube? Mainam ba itong gayahin o tularan? 
Okay, tingnan natin si Ariana. Okay, Ariana, ano ang katangian mayroon si Mabi Tutube? Si Mabi Tutube ay isang insectong video. Ang mga video niya ay nakakasakit o nagdadala ng kapahamakan sa kanyang kapwa. Oh, magaling. O yung sabi ni Evangeline, makulit daw. Okay. Mainam ba itong gayahin o tularan, Ate Ariana? Hindi po. Bakit naman hindi? Kasi piyo siya at laging nagbubuli. Very good. Ang galing naman. Nakikinig talaga si Ate Ariana. Okay. Ganon din ang ating mga magiliw na tagapanood. Okay. Ang aral sa kwento na ating binasa ngayon, Sa kwentong ito, ang tunay, ang tunay na kaibigan ay hindi nang iiwan. Bukod sa hindi nang iiwan, dapat din ay maasahan at hindi ka ilalagay sa sitwasyong iyong ikapapahamak. Matutong sumunod sa nakatatanda o nakatataas sa iyo upang maiwasang mapahamak. Ang pambubuli ay hindi magandang pag-uugali. Iwasan ito sapagkat wala itong mabuting maidudulot sa iyo lalo na sa taong binubuli. Ang kayabangan ay maaaring maghatid sa iyo sa kapahamakan, kaya ito ay iwasan. Maging palakaibigan sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Mas mainam ang nag-iipon ng kaibigan kaysa kaaway. Huwag maging masungit, maging mabuting tao kahit na kanino. Kahit na sino ay maari mong maging kaibigan, kahit ito pa ay mas matanda o mas bata pa sa iyo. Kung ano ang iyong itinanim ay siya mo ring aanihin. Kaya kung ikaw ay nagtanim ng kabutihan, ay tsak na babalik rin sa iyo ang kabutihang itinanim mo. Laging humingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng mga kasalanan mong nagawa at ugaliing manalangin na patubayan ka ng Panginoon sa lahat mong pupuntahan at gagawin. Yun ang aral na makukuha natin sa kwentong si Mabi Tutubi na kawili-wili. Okay, maraming salamat sa lahat ng nakikinig na way nagustuhan ninyo ang kwento. Bago ako magtatapos, gusto kong pasalamatan ang mga taong naging instrumento ng pagkakaroon natin ngayon ng Unlimited Stories sa Reading Delights. Unang-una ang ating mga education program supervisor mula sa sangay ng Panabo City, si Naginang Maria Perpetua Angelita Gisuelto at si Ginoong Peter Mijares. Gayun din sa punong guro ng UV Sayas Elementary School, Ginoong Julius I. Suelto. Gusto ko rin pasalamatan ang mga technical working group ng UV Sayas Elementary School on air 99.0 FM at gayon din ang tagapamahala ng istasyong ito. Gusto ko rin bigyang pugay ang aming punong guro sa Rizal Elementary School na si Ginang Ramilin F. Antalan, School Reading Coordinator na si Ginang Katrina Gonzales, kay Ginang Garden Lynn Arisgado, School Filipino Coordinator at ang aking butihing grade head, Ginang Kristita Dungog, na naghihikayat na basahin ang kwento. Sa aking butihing asawa, Ginoong Dennis Ibanez, sa pagbibigay ng suporta. Sa aking masayahing anak na si Yuki Bless, na nagbibigay sa akin ng inspirasyon. Maging ang aking mga kaibigan at kasama sa grade 1 ng Rizal Elementary School. Taos pusong pagbati sa buong teaching force ng Rizal Elementary School at lalong-lalo na sa aking mga mag-aaral sa grade 1 SSES. At gayon din sa iyo, Ariana. Maraming maraming salamat. Kaway-kaway naman dyan. Okay. Ah, hanggang sa, okay. Thank you. Thank you rin sa iyong mga magulang. Hanggang sa muli nating pakikinig at pagkikita. Paalam! Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
innovation, integration, industry-based learning, inspiration. This is the Division of Panabas City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Thank you po, Ma'am Evelyn T. Ibanez of Rizal Elementary School. Ayan po, ang kanya pong kwento ay pinamagatang mabibibi na kawidiwili na may, na, may, na, more, na may moral lesson para sa ating lahat na ang tunay na kaibigan ay dapat hindi talaga siya nangyayunan. At of course, ang tunay na kaibigan din ay maaasahan. Meron ba tayong mga kaibigan na ganyan? Yes, ako meron din akong kaibigan na kagaya niya. And our our very friend is not just he is not just calling us friends to all of us, hindi lang tayo din natawag na friends, but also he can or we can call him as our best friend. No other than our God. Of course, he is the best friend of all. Ayun po. And about all sa mga kaibigan din natin, now uh, dito ay remind nito ay napakagandang reminder para sa ating lahat na tayo ay dapat din na maging mabuting kaibigan sa ating mga kaibigan. Dapat nandiyan din tayo at pwede din tayong maasahan sa lahat ng mga panahon, lalo na sa panahon ng pangangailangan. Thank you po once again, Ma'am Evelyn T. Ibanez of Rizal Elementary School together with her with her people interactor, Ariana K. L. Clarino. Ayan, we're to a po para sa kanila. Now this time, we're going to proceed to our next storyteller. Our next storyteller is coming from San Vicente Elementary School and their and their school principal is Dr. Rosemary S. Patriarca. And the reading program is Red Alert. The story that she's going to tell us today is entitled Rafi the Kind Giraffe. And Bob. It is written by Jenny Sevilla. And of course, illustrated by Marvin Romero and covered by Elmer Santos. Please help me welcome our story reader this very moment, Ma'am Mary Grace T. Orion. I guess Mom, Mom Mary, Mary Grace is um, getting ready in our studio this studio this very moment. So, antabayanan po natin, hindi muna natin ng saglit. Baka po, meron pa yung mga ina-arrange sa ating uh, studio this very moment. So, once again, um, thank you sa pakikinig at sa panunood sa ating programa. As always, dito lang sa Unlimited Stories for Reading the Lights. Marami pa po tayong mga maibibigay ng mga iba't ibang kwento and tayo po ay patuloy na magsusubaybay ng umaga at siguradong tayo ay makakakulot ng maraming aral. Now this time, please help me welcome once again, Ma'am Mary Grace T. Corio. Innovation, integration, industry-based learning, inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Good day, everyone. Good morning, listeners and viewers. Welcome to Unlimited Stories for Reading the Light in Kinder to Grade 3 English. Today is Friday and it's reading day. So we are here at AIM Radio 99.0 FM, New Visayas Elementary School, and live at Facebook page, Panabo City Division Reading the Lights. And your storyteller for the day is teacher Mary Grace T. Orion of San Vicente Elementary School. And let me introduce to you my interactor for this morning, Salma Ibrahim, a grade one pupil of San Vicente Elementary School. How are you, Salma? I Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Uh, are you excited for today's story? Yes. Okay. So let's get started.
Okay, I have here a picture, a puzzle picture. So all, so you're going to guess what this animal picture is. Okay. Okay, guess what the picture is. First clue, it is a wild animal. Second clue, it has a long neck. And third clue, it is the tallest animal. What animal is this, Salma? It's a giraffe. Very good. You've got the correct answer. It's a giraffe. Giraffe is a large African mammal with a very long neck and four legs, having a coat pattern with brown patches separated by lighter lines. It is the tallest animal. So the title of our story for this morning is Rafi the Kind Giraffe. Story by Jenny Sevilla, illustrated by Marvin Romero and covered by Elmer Santos. So before we're going to continue our story, let's unlock first our vocabulary, Salma. So first word, these are the words we're going to encounter in our story. So first word is bully. Seek to harm or intimidate to someone perceived as vulnerable. Then word, second word, antiques, it is a foolish, outrageous, or amusing behavior. Then third word, forbidden, not allowed or banned. Then the next word is dizzy, having or involving a sensation of spinning around and losing one's balance. Then the last word is tease, make fun of or attempt to provoke in a playful way. Okay, let's get started. Are you ready, Salma? Ready. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Rafi was a good-natured giraffe. Since he was young, his mother had told him not to eat forbidden leaves. Question, what did Rafi's mother tell him not to eat? Letter A, grasses. Letter B, vegetables. Letter C, forbidden leaves. Or letter D, all of all kinds of leaves. Letter C, forbidden leaves. Very good. Mother, Rafi's mother told him not to eat the forbidden leaves. But Rafi was not an ordinary giraffe. He loved to eat grass when he should only be eating leaves instead. He was always teased by Jiro, the bully of the young giraffe. You belong to, to a family of goats, right? He teased. Okay, I have here another question, Salma. Jiro always teases Rafi that he belongs to the family of A, goats, B, elephants, C, cows, or D, horses? Letter A, goats. Okay, letter A. So let's try to... Okay, yeah, you got the correct answer. Jiro always teases Rafi that he belongs to the family of goats. Rafi hates trouble. He doesn't mind teased by Jiro. You want to fight? Challenged by Jiro. Question. Rafi doesn't mind being teased by Jiro because letter A, he likes to be teased. Letter B, he loves to be bullied. 
Letter C, he hates trouble. Or letter D, he hates zero. Okay, what's your answer, Salma? Letter C, he hates trouble. Very good. He doesn't mind Jiris teasing him because he doesn't, he hates trouble. So let's continue. Rafi once drank water from the stream. Look, what will I do to Rafi? Jiro boasted his friends. Jiro suddenly kicked Rafi. He lost his balance and fell in, into the water. Jiro's friends laughed hard at Rafi. Rafi caught colds after submerging in the water. He also broke a leg. I slipped in the water, he told his mother. Jiro got mad because Rafi isn't reacting his antiques. He thought of a way to pick up a fight with a kind giraffe. Jiro didn't notice he was eating the forbidden leaf. He felt a strong pain in his stomach. Who felt a strong pain in his stomach after eating a forbidden leaves? Letter A, Rafi. Letter B, Jiro. Letter C, Rafi and Jiro. Or letter D, none of the above. Letter B, Jiro. Very good. It's letter B, Jiro eat the forbidden leaves and felt a strong pain in his stomach. So let's continue. Jiro felt dizzy. He knew nobody was going to help him because only Rafi was around. Jiro might be right because Rafi ran away as soon as he saw what happened to the bad-mannered giraffe. He ran as fast as he could. Contrary to what Jiro thought, Rafi ran quickly to get some help. Hurry up! Something bad might happen to Jiro. Jiro escaped certain death. You should thank Rafi. You're still alive because of him. Jiro father said. Jiro couldn't look straight at Rafi. Despite of all the bad things he has done, Rafi was still kind of him. I hope you could forgive me, Jira said. Of course, all giraffes belong to one family. We should love one another, Rafi said. The usually bad-mannered Jiro has changed his ways, thanks to the kindness that was shown to him by Rafi, the kind giraffe. Okay, Salma, what have you learned from the story? Never bully. Bullying is bad. Be kind to one another. Love each other. Very good. Do not bully other children and love one another. Okay, another comprehension questions. Let's try if you're really, really, really listening attentively, Salma, and also our viewers, you can answer. You can answer in the chat. You can write your answer in the chat back box. Question number one. Who was described as a young bully giraffe? Letter A, Gino. Letter B, Lino. Letter C, Dino, or letter D, Jiro? Letter D, Jiro. 
Okay, letter. Letter D. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, zero. Question number two. What does Rafi loves to eat that makes him not an ordinary giraffe? Letter A, meat. Letter B, grass. Letter C, insect. Or letter D, leaf. Letter B, grass. Okay, it's letter B. You've got the correct answer. That makes him not an ordinary giraffe. Question number three. Why did Rafi lost his balance and fell into the water? Letter A, because Jiro pushed him. Letter B, because Jiro punched him. Letter C, because Jiro kicked him. Or letter D, because he was not careful. Letter C, because Jiro kicked him. Okay, it's letter C. Very good, because Jiro kicked him. Let's try our listeners and viewers here. What's their answer? Okay, you are right. Michael Poisson. And also, Misha Mabitad, you've got the correct answer. It's letter C because Jiro kicked him. Now let's proceed to question number four. What happened to Rafi after submerging in the water? Letter A, he caught colds and broke a leg. Letter B, he cried and fought back. Letter C, he was droned and disappeared. Or letter D, he felt better. So what's the letter correct answer? A. Letter A, okay, he let's check first our leg. Let's check first our the answers of our listeners and viewers. Arsha Zia, letter A. Also, Daisy and Soda, it's letter A. You almost have the same answer. Queen Bohol, Michael Poisson, Abinoha, Kate, Alexa, Mami Arlene, Gaddafi, Bustamante. And you've got the correct answer. It's letter A. He caught colds and broke a leg after submerging in the water because Jiro kicked him. Okay, last question. Okay, listen carefully, Salma. Huh? The following statements are correct except one. So my statement dito na not correct. Saan daw yun? Letter A. Despite the bad things happened, happened, Rafi was still kind to Jiro. Letter B, the usually bad ma nature Jiro has changed his ways. Letter C, Rafi refused to forgive Jiro. Or letter D, Jiro thanked the kindness that shown to him by Rafi. Which statement is not correct? Letter C, Rafi refused to forgive Jiro. Okay, so let's check first the answers of our listeners and viewers. So the answer is Laura, that letter C. Adam Yu, the answer is letter C. Zamir Ramos, C also. Sam Gomez, letter C. Rafael Toledo, letter A. Michael Poisson, letter C. 
Asia Babe Lagarde letter C. So the correct answer, again, you are right, Salma. The correct answer is letter C. Rafi refused to forgive Jira. That is not true because in fact, G R Rafi forgive Jiro and he said, they are all family of giraffe and they're going to love one another. Very good, Salma. And very good also, listeners and viewers. You are really listening well. So this time, um, what are the lessons of the story? What have you learned in the story, Salma? What are the lessons you have learned from the story? Never bully. Bullying is bad. Love one each other. And forgive when somebody broke something that is yours. Very good. You're really listening. So the lesson of the story. So isa-isahin natin. Lesson from Jiro's behavior. Si Jiro yung medyo having that good and bad attitude in the story. So lesson from Jiro's behavior no one has ever made himself great by showing how small someone else is. Putting others down doesn't put you above anyone either because if you continue doing so, you'll regret it in the end. Just like what happened to Jiru in that story, she, he regret what he has done to Rafi because Jiru is not... Um, being nice to Rafi. He keep on teasing and doing bad things to Rafi. Then lesson from Rafi's behavior. So si Rafi dito yung um, kind and um, good. Have a good character in the story. So lesson from Rafi's behavior. No act of kindness no matter how small is ever wasted. Showing, tama yung sinabi mo kanina, Salma. Showing kindness is never a waste of time. Being kind to someone else can change their life. So always show kindness to other people and um, spread love. Love one another. Okay? So that concludes our story for this morning, Rafi the Kind Giraffe. Okay, thank you so much, Salma, for being my interactor for this morning. Thank you for accepting the challenge. And thank you also to you. your mama, Bernadette. Okay, and also thank you so much to our um, listeners and viewers for for your right answers and for your participation. And before signing off, allow me to thank you, the people behind these unlimited stories of Reading Delights, Panabo City Division. Of course, our school's division superintendent, Saray Solitario, Mam Ma Bembi, Mam Ma Bembi Suelto, and also, um, the principal of New Visayas Elementary School, Sir, Ju Sir Julius Suelto. And of course, I want to thank you, um, the teaching, teaching force of San Vicente Elementary School, headed by our school principal, Dr. Rosemary S. Patriarca. And um, to my kinder team and to my grade one team, thank you so much. And... Um, God bless. Bye bye. Innovation, integration, industry based learning, inspiration. This is the division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy.
Thank you po, Ma'am Mary Grace D. Orion of San Vicente Elementary School together with her people interactor, Salma Ibrahim, grade 1 of San Vicente Elementary School. Their program or their, their lesson, the lesson of the program is very simple. It says here, no one has ever made us, no one has ever made us, but made himself great by showing how small someone else is. And of course, to the lesson also from Rafi's behavior, no act of kindness, no matter how small it is, it is never wasted. And so, lahat po ng ating mga uh, magagandang ginagawa sa ating kapwa ay counted po yan ni Lord. At lahat po yan ay may reward na darating sa ating lahat. So, just keep on, just keep on being kind to everyone, even others are not kind to us. So thank you once again for the very wonderful story that you have shared to us, Mom. Very grace to you. And this time, let us all proceed to our next storyteller this very moment. Our next storyteller is coming from Rizal Elementary School. And their principal is Mom Ramelin F. Antanan. The reading program is Rizal. Zealous or reading. Ingenuity. Zealous to achieve learning. And the title of the story that she's going to tell us today is The Legend of the Apple. It's written by Sigun Luti Matias Jr. and illustrated by Sergio Bumatay III. Please help me welcome our storyteller, Ma'am Katrina C. Gonzalez. Innovation, integration, industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Good morning, children. I am teacher Katrina C. Gonzalez from Rizal Elementary School. With me is Benedict Albert Y. Tulio from my class, grade 5 multi book blended class. Good morning, Benedict. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? I'm okay. I am happy to hear that. As we are about to read the story, let us first check the words found in our word list. Let's have our first word. It is an adjective. Weary, meaning feeling or showing tiredness. Can you please read the sample sentence for us, Benedict? What is it about your life that doesn't make us weary of watching you, Palamaningning? Thank you, Benedict. Now let's go on to our second word. Conscience. It is a noun, meaning the part of the mind that makes you aware of your actions as being either morally right or wrong. Can you please read the sample sentence for us, Benedict? A part of all of you whom I created is your conscience, which knows right from wrong. Okay, good job, Benedict. Now let's move on to our third word. Tranquil. It is an adjective, meaning quiet and peaceful. Please read the okay. sample sentence for us, Benedict. In a garden filled with trees and animals, living a tranquil existence, she grew. Okay, good job. Now let's have our fourth word. Plight. It is a noun, meaning an unfortunate or difficult situation. Can you please read the sample sentence for us, Benedict? She was grieved and troubled by the plight of Adam and Eve. Okay, good job. Now let's have our last word for our word list. It is an adjective. Envious, meaning feeling or showing envy. Can you please read the sample sentence for everyone, Benedict? They were all and they were envious of Talamaning Ning's innate beauty. Innate beauty. Very good. Good job. Now, let us have now our story. Legends are part of Filipino life and culture. 
legends like myths are stories that explain the origins of things and occurrences. Early Filipinos use legends and myths as means of understanding the environment. This contemporary legend tackles the origin of the apple. Written by Segundo Matias Jr., illustrated by Sergio Bumatay III, The Legend of the Apple. In the beginning of all things, when the great God had just created the universe, the stars were to move around, play, and roam the skies. It was also possible for them to come down from the high heavens. Sometimes, they played with other creatures of the sky, such as the birds. There was one star who was quite striking because of her natural beauty and brilliance. She was Tala Maningning. Her colors changed when every evening set in. Birds in flight were delighted with her. Every night, these flying creatures would sing to her and bring her flowers to show their admiration of her innate beauty. But the other stars were unhappy. They were envious of Tala Maningning. Why is that star different from us? Where did her colors come from? That's why nobody notices us and she is the only one who is complimented. One of the stars said, Fellow stars, I do not know the answers to your questions. The other replied, I will ask for that kind of light from the great God when I can no longer bear the envy I feel. A tearful star said. The stars continued to whisper among themselves as they observed Tala Maningning, who was... Surrounded by the birds, tirelessly watching her twinkling lights and changing colors. You are so beautiful to look at. A dove complimented Tala Maningning. My weariness disappears when I see you. Would that it were always nighttime so we can see you constantly? One of the birds gleefully said. What is it about your light that doesn't make us weary of watching you, Tala Maningning? A bat asked. A scowling star approached all of a sudden, which startled the flying creatures. Tala Maningning, why are you unlike the rest of us? Where did you get that light and those colors? She asked. Maybe you asked the great God for them so you would be different from us. I don't think that's right, another star remarked. Maybe you would like everyone in the sky to idolize you, so you ask to be different from us, another said. You're making us envy you in purpose, she added. Tala Maningning was flustered by the never-ending questions of her fellow stars. Everyone was alarmed when they heard the voice of the great god. Enough of your questioning. I gave her those qualities and you should not have any doubts about my judgment. I have admonished and have been patient with you for quite a long time. I have told you many times that it is not good to be envious of others. Because you will not leave your fellow star alone, from now on you cannot come near each other, and none of you can move from your appointed spot in the sky. From then on, each of the stars had only one place in the heavens. They could no longer play with one another. It was as if they were stuck to the sky. Tala Maningning became frequently unhappy. Thereafter, she began praying to the great God. She said she wished she had never been created. A star and dealt misery to her friends. She asked that she might become a wind instead, so that no one would see her 
and she would no longer cause misfortune to others. The next evening, Tala Maningning vanished from the heavens. Her prayer was granted. But before long, she saw the damage she caused as the wind. Now and then, her strength built up in the atmosphere and she blew the trees on the land and the ocean. Because of this, they, there were times when she could not stop moving fast or avoid excessive force as she blew. So she became a very powerful storm. Once more, she fervently prayed. She asked to be turned into a cloud instead. And once again, at the next opportunity, the great God granted her wish. She became an immaculately white cloud. But she realized that as time went on, she felt heavier and heavier and that she was becoming overcast and gray. When she could no longer bear the weight, she could not help but shed tears which turned into rain that brought damage to the earth's inhabitants when it carried on too long. She no longer knew what to do. Wholeheartedly, she prayed. She gave herself up to the great God. I leave it all up to you. If it is possible, I wish not to harm any of your creatures. Till one day, she became a single seed that fell to the earth. In a garden filled with trees and animals, living a tranquil existence, she grew. She became so happy when she grew into a lush, leafy tree. She was overjoyed when she saw she was laden with heart-shaped fruits that turned red when they ripened. Upon her branches, many birds built nests for their young. And in her shade, many different rested and sometimes fell soundly asleep. In that garden, she saw that all the animals were happy and regarded each other as friends. One day, she became conscious of a strange animal crawling against her trunk. It climbed up into her branches. With its mouth, it picked one of her fruits. The animal approached the first woman to be created, Eve. Eve was tempted by the animal to eat the fruit. After Eve had taken a bite of the fruit, she offered it to Adam, the first man. He also bit and ate the fruit offered by Eve. Then she then heard the voice of the great God. He reprimanded Adam and Eve for disobeying his command. He had forbidden Adam and Eve to eat her fruit. Because the first man and woman went against the command, they were driven out of garden paradise. The tree was saddened. She was grieved and troubled by the plight of Adam and Eve. Yet again, she was the cause of their punishment. Do not be worried. She heard the voice of the great God. You did not commit a sin. I gave everyone the power to choose. A part of all of you whom I created is your conscience, which knows right from wrong. Breaking my commandments is a beginning of sin. Thus, everything that happens to you is of your own doing. You have nothing to worry about. This you must remember. What is important is obedience to all my commands. Everything I bestow to any creature, he must treasure in accordance with my commandments. If you do so, then your heart should not be troubled. The great God concluded. There are no records in any book of the origins of this fruit, but some people believe because of her trials, first as a star, then as the wind and a cloud, 
along with everything else that she experienced, after what occurred at the Garden Paradise, she was blessed. Now, she is a fruit that provides nutrition to people's bodies. This is so she can understand more fully that she did not cause the misfortune of the first man and woman on earth. Her fruit was called many different names, beginning with those who first discovered it in different parts of the world. In the Tagalog language, it is named mansanas. In English, apple. Okay, I hope you like the story, everyone. Also, Benedict. Okay, that best explains the common proverb. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Am I correct? I think you are all familiar. And we have also noticed that why stars are distant with each other, aside from the gravitational forces, maybe because the other stars were in views of Talamaning Ning. Okay, now let us move on to the morals of the story. Now, can you please read the morals of the story, Benedict? It is not good to be envious of others. Obey God's commandment wholeheartedly. Treasure in everything bestowed on you in accordance with God's commandments. Okay, very good, Benedict. Now, again, it is not good to be envious of others. Obey God's commandments wholeheartedly. Treasure in everything bestowed on you in accordance with God's commandments. Okay, thank you so much, Benedict. Now, I have prepared five questions regarding our story, The Legend of the Apple. Now, how well did you read and listen? I would like to see comments okay, or answers from our comment box. I think I think others are talking about other other things. Now, now let us have question number one. What is this, what is not true when the great God had just created the universe? Letter A: The great God allowed humans to stay in the high heavens. Letter B: The stars were free to move around and roam the skies. Letter C: It was possible for the stars to come down from the high heavens. Or letter D, the stars played with other creatures of the sky, such as the birds. Can you please read the choices again for everyone, Benedict? A, the great God allowed humans to stay in the high heavens. B, the skies were free to move around and roam the skies. C, it was possible for the stars to come down from the high heavens. D, the stars played with other creatures of the sky, such as the birds. Okay, what is your answer for this question, Benedict? A. The great Letter. God allowed humans to stay in the high heavens. Okay, we have an answer from Rafael Toledo, letter B. How about Ralsoni Bastida, letter C. From Artlia Zia, letter A. And um, do we still have another answer from Hira Gyan D? So you have different answers. Now, let us try to check if who got the correct answer. Can you please read the question and the correct answer, Benedict? What is not true when a great God had just created the universe? A, the great God allowed humans to stay in the high heavens. Okay, very good. Letter A, the great God allowed humans to stay in the high heavens, which is not true. Okay, I hope that it is just an error in our screen, no? but the correct answer is letter A, the great God allowed humans to stay in the high heavens. So that is not true when the great God created the universe. Now let us move on to our second question. How did the flying creatures show their admiration of Talamaning Ning's innate beauty? A. Every night they would sing to her and bring her flowers. B. The flying creatures play with her every night. C. They named one of the flying creatures Talamaning Ning. Or letter D. The flying creatures ask her to fly with them. 
How about our viewers, Benedict? So just save your answer first, no? Let us have from Rihanna Adaro, letter C. From Ameline Mapano, letter A. And we also have answer from Cadelfa Bustamante, letter A. Sam Gomez, letter A po. And we also have from Prince Cedric, letter D. How about you, Benedict? What is your answer for number two? A. Every night they would sing to her and bring her flowers. Okay, now let us try to check if who got the correct answer. Majority of you answered letter A. Now, can you please read the question again and the correct answer, Benedict? How did the flying creatures show their admiration of Tana Manining's night beauty? A. Every night they would sing to her and bring her flowers. Okay, very good. So, a lot of you answered letter A. So, that is the correct answer. Congratulations. Now, let us move on to our third question. What punishment did the great God impose on the stars because of their envy of Tala Maningning? A. The great God forbade the stars to talk with each other. B. The great God removed the brightness of the stars. Letter C. The great God turned the stars into raindrops. Or letter D. The stars cannot come near each other and none of them can move from their appointed spot in the sky. What is your answer for question number three, Benedict? D. The stars cannot come near each other and none of them can move from their appointed spot in the sky. Okay, so let's try to check the answers from our viewers. We have from, we have from Rihanna Adaro, letter D. From Bella Kian, letter D. From Artlia Zia, letter D. From Sam Gomez, letter D. And for our last, we have from Diane Therese, Lura Abella, letter D po. So a lot of you answered letter D. Now let us try to check if you all got the correct answer. Okay, can you please read the question and the answer, Benedict, for number three? What punishment did the great God impose on the stars because of their envy of Talamaning Ning? D. The stars cannot come near each other and none of them can move from their appointed spot in the sky. Okay, good job everyone. Good job. Now let's move on to our fourth question. What was the greatest wish of Talamaning Ning? A. To be a cloud. B. Not to harm any of the creatures. C. Never been created. Or D. To become a wind. Can you please read the choices for everyone? A. To be a cloud. B. Not to harm any of the creatures. C. Never been created. D. To become a wind. Okay, now let's try to check first the answers of our viewers. From Artlia Zia, she answered letter A. From Hera Gyan, letter A. Maybe you got confused, no? Because Palamaning Ning wanted to be like all the choices. But we are looking for the greatest wish of Palamaning Ning. Okay, now let us have um, letter B po from Lindy Alaban Costeñares. Letter B from Diane Misley. Okay, and letter B also from Monette Manceras. How about your answer, Benedict? B, not to harm any of the creatures. Okay, now let's try to check if all of you got the correct answer. Okay, so what, can you please read the question and the answer, Benedict? What was the greatest wish of Talamaning Ning? B, not to harm any of the creatures. Okay, that was her greatest wish, right? Not to harm any of the creatures. Now, let us have our final question, our fifth question. What did the great God give to everyone he created? A, supernatural powers and abilities. B, power to provide nutrition. C, power to choose. Or letter D, power to be a leader. Can you please read the choices again for everyone? A, Benedict. supernatural powers and abilities. B, provide power to provide nutrition. 
C, power to choose. D, power to be a leader. Okay, how about your answer for that question, Benedict? Letter? C, power to choose. Okay, letter C. We also have an answer from Rihanna Adaro, letter C. Um, we also have from Sam Gomez, letter C po, Dian Mel C, C, Nayo, Nami, Nami, letter C, and also from Iboni L. Gallo, letter C. Now, let us try to check if all of you got the correct answer. Okay, please read the question and the answer for everyone, Benedict. What did the great God give to everyone he created? C, power to choose. Okay, letter C, power to choose. Okay, so that ends our question and answer and also our story. Now, I would like all of you to please comment down the morals or, or the insights or the reflections that you have gained from our story. Aside from the given morals of the story, what insights and wisdom can be derived from this story, the legend of the apple? Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Benedict. Please do extend my gratitude to your parents for allowing you to be part of this morning's Unlimited Stories for Reading Delight as my pupil interactor. Do you wish to say hi to anyone, Benedict, to your classmates? Hi, viewers. Hi, classmates. Okay, thank you so much, Benedict. Thank you so much, everyone. Let us all continue to be reading advocates. Stay safe and God bless us all. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panabas City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Thank you po, Mom Katrina Gonzalez of Rizal Elementary School together with her people interactor, Benedict Albert Julio. Ayan po, napakasimple ng kanyang, ng kanyang lesson sa pinahagi niyang kwento ngayong umaga. It is not good to be envious of others. Ayan, be contented of what we have. We need to be happy of what we have because real happiness comes from being happy of whatever God has entrusted to us. Always obey God's, God's commandments wholeheartedly and of course treasure in everything bestowed unto you in accordance with God's commandments because everything that we have in our hands comes from the Lord. So all the good and perfect gifts comes from Him and we need to be thankful of everything that He has bestowed unto us. So once again, we thank you Mom Catherine or Katrina C. Gonzalez for the wonderful story that you have given to all of us today. Now this time, let's proceed to our science stories. Ito po ang ating pinakabagong edition or pinakabagong segment sa ating unlimited stories for he for reading the lies. Ayan po. Handa na ba tayo sa lahat ng mga mahihilig sa science channel? Ayan, ito po isa sa mga mag magandang uh, kwento na ating mapapakulang ngayong umaga. Now this time, I will be reading to you the detail of our story reader. Our story reader is coming from San Vicente Elementary School and their principal or their principal is Dr. Ro Rosemary S. Patrick Alca. Ayan po. And the title or the story that she's going to give to us this very moment is The Solar System. Ayan. And it is written by Hill McDonald's. Please help me welcome our story reader, Ma'am Rachel Hain Manubaga. Innovation, integration, industry-based learning, inspiration. This is the division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Magandang buhay everyone! Hello Philippines and hello world! You are tuning in at AIM Radio 99.0 FM for a good start. And we are live na live at Panabo Cable Channel 1, Dapat Panabo City FB page, and Dapat Panabo City YouTube channel. Today is Friday, and Friday is Reading Day. And are you excited, kids, for our sign story for today? Here with me is my pupil interactor, 
from San Vicente Elementary School. Grade 6 Rizal, let us welcome Arjali Faith Aranwes. Hello, Ate Faith. Kumusta? Hi po, teacher. I'm fine. Say hello to our viewers, Faith. Hello, viewers. How are you? Okay, ready, ready ka na ba, Faith? Yes po, ma'am. And ready na po ba yung mga viewers natin out there? So I guess, ready na, ready na. So let's begin. Let's begin our story. And our story is entitled Solar System by Jill MacDonald. Look up at the sky. What do you see? I see a lot of things in the sky. I see stars, the moon, and lots of constellations. Can you see the moon? Astronauts have left their footprints on the moon. In the daytime, we see the sun. Now let's learn about all the planets that travel around it. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Ouch! Asteroids and comets often hit this planet. Venus is the brightest planet. Whoa! Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. We live on a planet called Earth. From space, it looks like a swirl blue marble. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Can you point to the red planet? That's Mars. Mars has giant volcanoes. Jupiter is the largest planet. Jupiter is the stormiest planet in the solar system. Saturn has rings that go round and round. The rings are made of ice, dust, and rock. Uranus and Neptune are dark and cold. Ice crystals give Uranus its blue color. Uranus rotates on its sides. It is very windy on Neptune. Stars twinkle in the night sky. Can you connect the dots with your finger and see the, the shapes that and see the shapes that stars make? Sometimes we see comets soaring across the sky. The solar system is an exciting place. Where would you like to go first? Let's review all the planets. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Next, there's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And we are far edge in the solar system you got a small dwarf planet called Pluto. There's so many different things to learn about space. And it all starts with the solar system. And that's the end of our story entitled Solar System. So, Faith, are you ready for our Q&A? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Faith. What have you learned from the story? I have learned from the story about solar system and the planets and its characteristics. Okay, very good, Faith. Good that you are listening. And of course, you understand what is our story. And now let us proceed to our comprehension questions. Question number one. What is the title of the story? Again, question number one. What is the title of the story? Letter A, the planets. Letter B, 
solar system, letter C, planets and comets, letter D, the beauty of solar system. Okay, Faith, what is your answer? My answer is B, solar okay, system. Let, okay, let us check from our viewers. Ano din kaya ang sagot nila? Okay, can I have here Michael Puso, letter B. From Rosh, letter B. Alfredo, letter B. Matt, letter B. So let us now check what is the correct answer. And the correct answer is... Tama ka, Faith. Solar system. And that is letter B. And now, let us proceed to our next question. Question number two. What planet often hit by asteroids and comets? Again, what planet often hit by asteroids and comets? Letter A, Mars. Letter B, Mercury. Letter C, Saturn. And letter D, Neptune. What is your answer, Faith? My answer is B, Mercury. Okay, let us now check from our viewers kung same din pala ang sagot nila. Okay, letter B then. Sabi ni Psyche, sabi ni Sid, sabi ni Matt, sabi ni Alfred, uh, ni Van, Giselle, letter B. And now, let us check kung tama yung sagot ninyo. And the correct answer is letter B, very good faith, and that is Mercury. Next question. Which planet is the stormiest in the solar system? Letter A, Jupiter. Letter B, Earth. Letter C, Mercury. And letter D, Venus. My answer is A, Jupiter. Okay, the answer of faith is letter A. The answer of Lee is letter B. The answer of C is letter A. The answer of Kyle Hermosa is letter, also letter A. And now let us check the correct answer. And the correct answer is letter A, Jupiter. Next question, please. We live on a planet called blank. Again, we live on a planet called blank. Letter A, Mars. Letter B, Neptune, letter C, Earth, and letter D, Mercury. What is your answer, Faith? My answer is C, Earth. Your answer is letter C, Earth. Okay, let us check the answers coming from our viewers. C din pala yung most of the answers are letter C. Okay, and the correct answer is letter C. Okay. Tayong lahat na nandito sa Earth. Akala ko may nanggaling dito sa Mars. <laughs> okay, for our final question, question number five. The following statements are correct except one. Again, the following statements are correct except one. A. Ice crystals give planet Uranus its blue color. Letter B. Neptune is a dwarf planet. Letter C, the Earth looks like a swirl blue marble. And letter D, astronauts have left their footprints on the moon. Your answer, Faith? My answer is B, Neptune is a dwarf planet. Okay, and now check, let us check the answers from our viewers. Okay, B din yung sagot ni Dian, ni Van, Giselle, ni Christina, ni Jed, ni Cassandra, Ni Matt, a letter A yung kay Matt. And let us now check if your answer is correct. And the correct answer is letter B. Neptune is a dwarf planet. Bakit kaya in, uh, hindi, to, hindi to correct, uh, Ate Faye? Ano kaya pala yung dwarf planet? Sino Because yung Pluto. Okay, very good. Si planet Pluto yung dwarf planet natin. Very good, Faye. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so the solar system, let us remember that solar system, it's not just a great invention of our creator, it is God's perfect creation. And for the moral lesson for this story, appreciation of God's great creation. So let us appreciate what is the, crea the crea creation of our dear creator. 
So lahat na nang until na, na nakikita natin, lahat ng mga miracles do happen because of our creator. So Faith, meron ka bang pasasalamatan for today? Yes po, teacher. Okay, do it, Faith. Thank you, Ma'am Rachel, my ever beautiful advisor for the guidance along the way. Thank you also to my parents, Mama Chi and Papa RG with my Tita Julie. Above all, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. God bless everyone. Okay, Faith, I would like to say thank you to you for accepting the challenge. And please tell your mom and your dad, your parents, na thank you sa pagtanggap sa challenge na to and for being the PP Interactor for today. And please give me the opportunity sa lahat ng viewers, I would like to extend my gratitude to Ma'am Helia Pueblo. Ma'am, thank you for the trust and thank you for this opportunity. I miss you, ma'am. And of course, to our dear school principal, our ever gorgeous, contagious, kinipagkagwapa sa mga principal, no less than Dr. Rosemary Patriarca, and Ma'am Janeline Hamado for the men, our uh, my mentor. Thank you, Ma'am Jen, sa, sa pag-boost akong confidence. And the rest of the San Vicente Elementary School teachers and parents and grade 6 Rizal, of course, na nandito ngayon, live na live. Thank you po sa inyong support ha? and uh, sa lahat po na nanonood, let us have this opportunity to thank God for the success of this reading delight. To my SBS family, thank you so much and for my husband for, for driving me here. Thank you, Daddy. And thank you, reading delights. Thank you, Mom Bimbi. Thank you, everyone. And this has been your storyteller for signs. This is Mom Rachel Hi Malumbaga. Signing off. God bless everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, Faith. Innovation. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Thank you, Paul, Mom Rachel. Hain Malumbaga for sharing us of the very wonderful story, one of the very wonderful story that we have heard from science, the solar system. Ayan po. And together also with her pupil interactor, Faith from San Vicente Elementary School. Ayan po. So it is very important to appreciate the wonderful creation of God. Big things, little things, we need to be thankful because God has given us all of these things as a gift and for us to become um, useful and of course to become happy to us his creation in this world so once again we thank you mom Rachel Hain Malubaga for your time and for sharing us your story this very morning now this time let us proceed to our next storyteller Ayan po, our next storyteller is coming from San Vicente National High School and their school principal is Sir Rustico P. Hernandez, Principal 2. The reading program is Readers Rise. And the title of the story that she is, that he is going to give us this very moment is Pandora's Box. It is written by Isut Hilispi or Hilispi. Ayan po. And illustrated by Ted Ed. Now please help me welcome our story reader, Sir. Daryl Roland Loperos. Innovation, integration, industry-based learning, inspiration. This is the division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Hello, good morning, pupils, students, parents, and teachers. It's a brand new day. And a brand new learning is coming on our way. Allow me first to introduce myself. I am Teacher Daryl Horolan Loberos from San Vicente National High School, one of your story reader this morning. So, before that, to join us this morning is our student interactor, Mary Chris Coronado. Hello, Mary Chris. Okay, so I guess uh, she has a problem with her connection. So since we 
have uh, many students and peoples with us this morning. So let us proceed with our activity first before we have our story for this morning. And our activity is spelling time. So I'll say the word and you comment your answer in the comment box so I and the others can see it. Okay? So are you ready, pupils and students? Our first word is paradox, a noun which has a meaning of seemingly absurd or self-contradictory statement or proposition that when investigated or explained may prove to be well-founded or true. Again, our first word has a definition of seemingly absurd or self-contradictory statement or proposition that when investigated or explained may prove to be well-founded or true. Spell the word paradox. Okay, so let us see your answers if you will be able to spell our word correctly. Again, our first word is paradox. Okay, I can see in the comment section we have um, Hannah. She spelled it as P-A-R-A-D-O-X. Same with Kadelfa, Rian, Sam. Uh, who else? Aliyah, Zakari. So let us check if your answers are correct. Okay, so the first word spells us. P. A R A D O X. Paradox. Very good. Congratulations, students. So let us proceed to our next word. Word number two is the definition is a strong desire to know or learn something. The word is curiosity. Spell the word curiosity. It is a strong desire to know or learn something. Okay, kindly comment your answer. Spell the word curiosity. So let us see if you will be able to guess the answer. Okay, I can see here the answer of Sam. She spelled it C-U-R-I-O. S-I-T-Y. We also have Zakari here, C-O-R-I-O-U-S-I-T. So you have different spelling of the word curiosity. So let us find out if your answer is correct. And the correct spelling is C-U-R-I-O-S-I-T-Y. Curiosity. Okay, very good for those who got the correct answer. Okay, let's have the third word. Our third word has a definition of consisting of fire or burning strongly and brightly. The word is fiery. Again, the word is fiery. Spell it. Please write your answer in the comment box. Okay, let us see if you will be able to get the correct answer. Okay, I think our student interactor is ready to join with us this morning. Mary Chris. Hi, Mary Chris. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. So we are now in our third word. The word, would you mind to spell our word uh, to join our online viewers this morning? So the word is fiery. Its definition is consisting of fire or burning strongly and brightly. So our Online viewers has already have already uh, commented their answers in our comment box. So how about you, Mary Chris? Can you spell the word fiery? Yes, for ma'am. F I E R Y fiery. Okay, so let us check if your answer and the answers of our online viewers are correct. Okay, so the correct spelling of the word is F I. E R Y fiery, very good. Okay, now let's have our fourth word or word number four. 
our word number four has a definition of a person or thing that is mysterious, puzzling, or difficult to understand. Again, our fourth word has a definition of a person or thing that is mysterious, puzzling, or difficult to understand. And the word is enigma. The word is enigma. Okay. Let's see if our online viewers can correct, can get or can give the correct spelling of the word enigma. Okay, we have here Jezreel, E-N-I-G-M-A. We also have Kadalfa, who has the same answer with Jezreel. Nami also spelled it as E-N-I-G-M-A. How about you, Mary Chris? E-N-I-G-M-A. Okay, so let us find out if your answers are correct and the correct spelling is e n i g m a okay very good so now let's proceed to our last word word number five it is um an adjective which is a definition as extremely unpleasant horrifying or terrible the word is horrendous the word is horrendous, extremely unpleasant, horrifying, or terrible. So let us wait for our online viewers for their answers. The word is horrendous. Okay. We have here from Jezreel. She spelled it as H-O-R-R-E-N-D-O-U-S. Okay, we also have same spelling from Jeanette. Kadalfa also has the same spelling with um, Jeanette and Jezreel. So how about you, Mary Chris? Can you spell it? H-E-R-R-O-N-D-O-U-S, horrendous. Okay, so let us check the correct spelling of the word. Okay, so the spelling is H O R R E N D O S. Okay, I think it's okay. So, congratulations, everyone, students and people, and of course, to you, America. So, now let's proceed to our story. Okay, so curiosity a blessing or a curse? The paradoxical nature of this trait was personified for the ancient Greek and the mythical figure of Pandora. According to legend, she was the first mortal woman whose blazing curiosity set the train of earth-shattering events of motion. Pandora was breathed into being by Hephaestus, god of fire, who enlisted the help of his divine companions to make her extraordinary. From her mess, she gained mastery over language. From Aphrodite, she received the capacity for deep emotion. Athena gave the gift of fine craftsmanship and attention to detail. And her mess gave her her name Pandora. Finally, Zeus bestowed two gifts on Pandora. The first was the trait of curiosity, which settled in her spirit and sent her eagerly out into the world. The second was a heavy box ornately curved, heavy to hold, and screwed tightly shut, but the contents Zeus told her were not for mortal eyes. She was not to open the box under any circumstance. On Earth, Pandora met and fell in love with Epimetheus, a talented titan who had been given the task of designing the natural world by Zeus. He had worked alongside with his brother Prometheus, who created the first human but was eternally punished for giving them fire. 
Epinephius missed his brother desperately, but in Pandora, he found another fiery-hearted soul for companionship. Pandora brimmed with excitement at life on earth. She was also easily distracted and could be impatient, given her thirst for knowledge and desire to question her surroundings. Often, her mind wandered to the contents of the sealed box. What treasure was so great it could never be seen by human eyes? And why was it in her care? Her fingers itched to fry it open. Sometimes, she was convinced she heard voices whispering and the contents rattling ar around inside, as if a training to be free. Its enigma became maddening. Over time, Pandora became more and more obsessed with the box. It seemed there was a force beyond her controls that drew her to the contents, which echoed her name louder and louder. One day, she could bear it no longer. Stealing away from Epimachus, she stared at the mystifying box. She'd take one glance inside, then be able to read her mind of it forever. But at the first crack of the lead, the box burst open. Monstrous creatures and horrendous sound rushed out in a cloud of smoke and swirled around her, screeching and cackling. <coughs> Filled with terror, Pandora clawed desperately at the air to direct them back into the prison. But the creatures surged out in a gruesome cloud. She felt a wave of foreboding as they bellowed away. Zeus had used the box as a vessel for all the forces of evil and suffering he had created and once released, they were uncontainable. As she wept, Pandora became aware of a sound echoing from within the box. This was not the eerie whispering of demons, but a light tinkling that seemed to ease her anguish. When she again lifted the leap and peered in, a warm beam of light rose out and fluttered away. As she watched it flickering in the wake of the evil she'd unleashed, Pandora's pain was eased. She knew that opening the box was irreversible, but alongside the strife, she'd set hope forth to temper its effect. Today, Pandora's box suggests the extreme consequences of tampering within the unknown, but Pandora's burning curiosity also suggests the duality that lies at the heart of human inquiry. Are we bound to investigate everything we don't know? To mine the earth for more? Are there some mysterious that are better left unsolved? And that's the end of our story, the Pandora's box. So how how would you find this story? Interesting. It's interesting, yes. Okay, so now let's proceed to our short assessment to check if you have learned something from the story. Okay, so it's quiz time. We have, I think, four questions here. All you have to do is to choose the letter of your answer. Okay, so we have here, uh, I just want to read uh, the comment of Christopher Suazo. She said, I like to read. Um, Adam said, me too. Okay, that's good. We must read and read every day so we would be able to develop our reading skills and also our speaking skills. Okay, so our first question is, what gift did Pandora receive from Aphrodite? Our first option is A, capacity for deep emotion, B, fine craftsmanship, C, attention to details, or letter D, mastery of language. Again, question is, what gift did Pandora receive from Aphrodite? A, capacity for deep emotion, letter B, fine craftsmanship, 
C, attention to details, or D, mastery of language. So what do you think is the answer here? For our online viewers, we have here the answer of VN is letter A, capacity for deep emotion. How about the others? What do you think is the answer to our first question? A. How about you, Mary Chris? What is your answer? A, capacity for deep emotion. Okay, so you have the same answer with Rian, Jed, also Prince, answer A. So the correct answer for number one is letter, letter A, capacity for deep emotion. Okay, very good. Next, let's proceed to our uh, question number two, where was the whispering sound coming from? Again, where was the whispering sound coming from? A, cave, B, box, B, C, lake, or letter D, earth. What do you think is the answer? Is it letter A, cave, or letter B, box, letter C, lake? Or letter D, Earth. What is your answer, Mary Chris? B, box. Letter B, box. Okay. Um, our online viewers also answered B from Nami, from Jed, from Jeanette. Who else? We also have here Hannah answered B from Ariel. Okay. And the correct answer is letter B. The sound or the whispering sound come from the box or comes from the box okay next question number three what causes pandora to open the box the question is what causes pandora to open the box a anger b stupidity c curiosity or d spite again the choices are A, anger, B, stupidity, C, curiosity, or letter D, spite. So we have here um, the answers from our online viewers. Most of them answered letter C, curiosity. How about you, Mary Chris? Do you have the same answer with them? Yes, ma'am. So your answer is also letter C. So the correct answer for number three is letter C. Curiosity is the cause of Pandora's opening the box. Okay, so our fourth question is, what was inside Pandora's box? A, treasures. B, letters. C, clothes. Or letter D, all evil in the world. Again, what was inside Pandora's box? Is it letter A, treasures? Letter B, letters? Letter C, clothes? Or letter D, all evil in the world? Okay, I can see here the answers from our online viewers. Most of them answered letter D. Mm -hmm. How about you, Mary Chris? Same then, ma'am. Letter okay, D. So, okay, so your answer also is letter D. And the correct answer for number four is letter D. All evil in the world. Okay, next. Okay, we have here our fifth question. So this is an essay. When our elders forbid us to do something, do you agree or why or why not? Again, when our elders forbid us to do something, do you agree? Why or why not? So online viewers, um, kindly comment your answers on this question in the comment box. So I and others can see it. Say, Hannah says yes. She agrees on whenever our elders forbid us to do something, when they say no, so Hannah said we must follow them. Okay, how about you, Mary Chris? Agree, because they live longer than us, which means 
they experience a lot of things that we haven't yet. Okay, so that's a great answer. You are correct, no? So since our elders have already um, a lot of experience compared from us, so that means they have a lot of learning to share to us. So it means they are experienced, that they are already experienced, but we haven't experienced yet. So that's why we must follow them whenever they say no to things okay so actually there are a lot of moral lessons we can learn from the story one lesson we learned from pandora's box um story that you should start doing what is right and you should change for the better another lesson we can learn from the story is the importance of having self-discipline and self-control right because we have back to the story pandora doesn't have the self-discipline and the self-control knowing that um one of the deity or the god gave her the um what do you call this the eagerness or the the gift of the um, eagerness to know everything around her okay so it is very important to have self-discipline and self-control because if you would reflect reflect on the story it is because of pandora's curiosity and greediness that the extraordinary box was open and um like what mary chris have said earlier that we need to follow and obey our elders when they say no especially on things we don't know yet we still have many things to learn especially you students and pupils that's why we have our parents and our teachers with us to help and guide us okay so i think that would be all for our story this morning so thank you so much to our um, interactor today. Thank you so much, Mary Chris Coronado. Have a, a great and um, blessed day. And also to our viewers, students, people, parents, and teachers, thank you so much for joining with us. God bless us all. Bye. Bye. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Thank you, Ma'am Daryl Corolan Loberos of San Vicente National High School, together with her pupil interactor, Mary Chris Fernando of San Vicente National High School. Ayan po. It's a very wonderful story about Pandora's box. It's simply, it has the moral of the story that says here the importance of self-discipline and self-control of course if we have self-discipline or we are a self-disciplined person then we will become more uh, we will be a blessing to others and it is not easier for us to to break or to to become uh highly tempered because we have self-discipline of course and we have controlled in our emotions and our in our lives and of course it can help us above all we cannot we cannot do it by ourselves alone but by the help of the holy spirit the help of our god so if we will continue to draw near before him then we will he will continue to strengthen us with his with his presence and of course from his presence we can have self-control and of course thank you mom daryl for your story this very morning that's it that really reminds us to become uh, more disciplined and more um self-controlled person in this life now this time we're going to proceed to our next storyteller and our next storyteller is coming from Panabo City National High School and their school principal is Memia B. Infiesto, principal 4. Ayan po, and the reading program is Proyectong Athena. Ayan, at ang kanyang, ang pamagat ng kanyang story na, or story na ibabahagi sa atin ngayong umaga ay si Mario, si Ana, at ang isda. And it is written by PinoyCollection.com, illustrated by Alvin Celso. Please help me welcome our storyteller, Ma'am Michelle E. Sohayon. Innovation, integration, industry-based learning, inspiration. This is the division of Panaba City, the forefront of 
eradicating illiteracy. Mabuhay, gandang umaga sa ating lahat. Naway nasa mabuti tayong kalagayan. Ako po si Ginang Michelle Isohayon mula sa Panabo na City National High School. Halina tayo makinig at matuto. Ang ating kwento ngayon ay tungkol kay si Mario, si Ana at ang isda. Tuwang-tuwa ang mangingis ng si Mario nang may nabingwit siyang isang malaking isda. Nang ilalagay na niya ito sa buslo, bigla itong nagsalita. Huwag! Buntik ng pahulog sa bangka si Mario sa labis na pagkagula. Ibalik mo ako sa tubig at bibigyan kita ng kayamanan, sabi ng isda na nagpipilwag. Sa tingin ninyo, ano kaya ang ibibigay ng isda kay Mario? Yes, yeah, sabi dito ni Binibining Mantilla, kayamanan. So tingnan natin kung tama ba ang kanyang sagot. Yes, tama. Ang ibibigay ng isda kay Mario ay kayamanan. Nang mawalasan si Mario, tinanong niya ang isda, Ano ka ba? Impakto? Hindi. Ako ay lagad ng mga serena na naatasang magbantay dito sa malapit sa pampang. May kapangyarihan ako. Mahika. Kaya ibalik mo lang ako sa tubig at ipagkakaloob ko sa'yo ang ihilingin mo. Sa tingin ninyo, ano ang ihilingin ni Mario sa isda? Okay, sabi dito ni Narvasa Ginto. So tingnan natin kung ginto nga ba ang kanyang hihilingin. So ang hihilingin ni Mario sa isda ay malaking bahay. Naalala ni Mario ang dampang tinirhan niya. Lagi itong inirareklamo ng asawa dahil sa kaliitan. Nais ko ang malaking tirahan, sabi niya sa isda. Masusunod, umuwi ka na at makikita mo ang iyong malaking tahanan. Sabi ng isda, nakaagad namang ibinalik ng lalaki sa tubig. Hindi lang malaki, ngunit tila palasyo ng hari sa gara ang nadatnan niya. Sa palagay ko, hindi na ako aawayin ni Ana. Malaki na ang bahay namin. Ngunit, hindi pa pala nasisiyahan ang asawa. Ulihin mo uli ang isda. Sabihin mo, walang mga kasangkapan. Dapat ay iyong magagandang mesa, silya, kama, at mga dekorasyon sa bahay. Ano ang muling hiling ni Ana? Yes, sabi dito ni Dilatore ay ginto. Tingnan natin kung tama ba ang kanyang sagot. Mga kasangkapan. Dahil nga meron na silang malaking bahay, kailangan ito ng mga kasangkapan. Palibhasay takot sa babae, bumalik si Mario sa dagat at namingwit. Sana'y huwag ka na, ko na siyang mahuli para hindi na ako mag, makahingi. Nakakahiya naman ang, ang asawa ko, bulong niya sa sarili. Nagkataong lumalangoy pala sa malapit ang malaking isda. Ang namakita si Mario, ito'y lumukso sa kanyang bangka. Ano kaibigan, nagustuhan mo ba ang bahay mo? Oo nga, maraming salamat. Ngunit, nakikiusap ang asawa ko kung maaari raw. Mabibigyan mo ba raw kami ng mga kasangkapan? 
nahihiyang tanong ng mangingista. Oh, sige. Pumalik ka na sa inyo at naroon na ang mga hinihili ng asawa mo. Natitiyak ni Mario na matutuwa na ngayon si Ana. Malaking biyaya na talaga ang binigay sa kanila ng isda. Pagdating niya sa bahay, sinalubong siya ng asawa sa pintuan. Balikan mo uli ang isda. Humingi ka naman ngayon ng mga magagarang alahas at magagandang kasuotan. Nais kong makita ng lahat dito sa bayan natin na tayo ang pinakamayaman dito. Utos ng babae sa asawa na alam niyang hindi kayang sumuway sa bawat sabihin niya. Hiyang-hiya si Mario na humarap uli sa isda na madali niyang makita sa pampang na pinaglalagian nito. Nakakahiya sa'yo. Halos hindi niya maibuka ang bibig. Ngunit, may hinihingi na naman ang asawa ko. Matagal na hindi sumagot ang isda. Parang nag-iisip. Kapag karaka ay nagsalita. Nakikilala ko na kung anong uri ng pagkatao ang asawa mo. Isa siyang sakim at walang takondangang babae. Hindi siya marunong mahiya at hindi rin siya mabait na asawa. Parurusahan ko siya. Pupunin ko li lahat ng naibigay ko na sa kanya. Lumukso sa tubig ang isda at matuling lumangoy papunta sa lao. Nang umuwi si Mario, nakita niya si Ana na kaupong umiiyak sa hagdang kawayan ng dati nilang dampa. At yan na ang wakas ng ating kwento. So narito ang ating mga gintong aral ngayong umaga mula sa ating binasang pabula. Matutong makontento at huwag mapang abuso. At pangalawa, kung alam mong may mali na sa kanyang ginagawa, ito ay pagsabihan. So tulad ng nangyari sa buhay no, ni Mario at ng kanyang asawang si Ana, palagi na lang siyang sumusunod kahit alam niyang meron na ito pagkakamali. So narito ang mga paglinay na gawain, meron tayong tatlong katanungan para sa unang tanong. Anong gagawin ni Mario sa isda para mabigyan ng kayamanan? Titik A, dalhin sa bahay. Titik B, ibalik sa tubig. Titik C, sila ay mag-usap. Okay? Ang tamang sagot, ayan kay Abela ay titik B daw. So, tingnan natin kung tama ba. The correct answer is, yes, titik B. So, proceed tayo sa pangalawang tanong. Saan inahalin tulad ang isda? Sabi ni Raniola ay ano, ni Abela is titik B. So, tingnan natin, saan nga ba inialan tulad ang isda? It's titik C, impacto. ba diba? sabi ni Mario doon, impacto ka ba? Yan yung tanong niya na makita niya ang isdang nagsasalita. So, dito tayo sa pangatlong tanong. Nakontento ba si Ana sa lahat ng kanyang natanggap? Hindi o oo? Sabi ni Adaro, ano, ni Bolye, sir, Zachary ay hindi. So, ang tamang sagot ay titik A. Hindi, hindi siya na kontento sa binigay sa kanya na mga kayamanan, bahay, mula sa isda. So tandaan, huwag maging ganid at maging masaya sa kung anong ibinigay sa iyo ng Panginoon. At matuto tayong magpasalamat. So ang lahat ng yan ay kinuha. Diyan makikita nyo sa screen ang pinaguna ng ating binasa ngayong umaga. So, maraming mar uh, maraming maraming sa lahat, um, salamat sa lahat, lalong-lalo na sa mga mag-aaral na nanatili. 
Hanggang sa muli, paalam. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Ayan po. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Michelle E. Sukayan of Panaba City National High School sa kanyang kwento na si Mario, si Ana at Amista. Ito ay may moral na dinahagi sa atin na matuto tayo makontento at wag mapang abuso. Ayan. So we need to be contented. It's not, uh, it is not bad to dream big because all the dreams that the the dreams that we have in our hearts si Lord mismo ang naghatag ay na kay gitusod niya kanang tagaan ta of best dili sa sa iyahang isip iyahang mga creations then this time we need to be thankful kung usa man ang naa sa ato akarong mga panahon na karong mga igayon and we need to be we need to be grateful of all the of, of all those things kay in a grateful heart si Lord mahimo siyang kanang ma ma-please Ana, then di na siya kinahanglan nga pangayuon pa ang mga utang nga ato ni kinahanglan kay bisan pag wala na ta na siya kinahanglan as long as long as nakita niya nga um, it is our need and we need to have those things we need to have those um atong mga butang to then dili niya ihikaw yung panalangin as well as we have a thankful heart and a grateful heart so we need to be contented kay ang tanang panalangin niya ni Apo sa ato abi kan gayud sa Ginoo niya dili gayud ka nang dili gayud masaab ang panalangin ni Lord dili siya ka nang kung para sa ato ang panalangin dili siya maabot sa atong silingan o kung para po sa atong silingan ang panalangin then magulat ta nga maabot pa ang para sa ato so we need to be contented in all the things that we have today and of course uh, na po siya another another moral kung alam mo may mali ang kayong ginagawa itoy pagsabihan so it is not it is not bad to to say um to rebuke our brethren, our ato mga kauban, ato mga labi na atong pamilya. So, kanang, basta kay tarungan nato siya pagkurante. Nasayo ko ba nga the heart that is teachable enough, magpakurante din na And also, we have need to have a heart that is teachable enough para may mo ka na easier sa ato ang pag-accept sa mga corrections. No? So, thank you so much once again, Ma'am Michelle E. So, hayan for a very wonderful story about si Mario, si Ana, at Amista. Now this time, let's proceed to our last storyteller, ang kwento ng mga, ng mga pangulo. Ayan, so din na pagtadapi sa ato ang kanang history sa ato ang mga, sa ato ang limited stories for reading the lights. Now our story reader is coming from, it is coming from Kasilak Elementary School. Ayan po. And the reading program is Kariya, the Sila Beating in Action. Ayan po. And, the re, and their preschool principal, of course, is Suruel B. Ramos. Ayan. At ang kanyang kwento na ibabahagi sa atin ngayong umaga ay Ang Talambuhay ni Manuel L. Kesa. Please help me welcome our story reader, Ma'am Jona B. Romolo. Innovation. Integration. Industry-based learning. Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Magandang gandang araw mga bata, mga magulang, at lahat ng mga nanonood sa Facebook Live ng TV Aralan. Live tayo ngayon sa New Visayas On Air 99.0 FM. At live din po tayo sa ating paralan pang himpapawid sa mababang paralan ng Kasilak. Ito ang Sila Kasilak 105.5 FM Radio Kaiskwela sa Lunghaan sa Kahanginan Kaugmaon sa Kabataan. So, kawikaway naman dyan mga batang Kasilak. Please comment, like, and share our Facebook Live. Alam ko na nagitin kayo sa ating kwento noong nakaraang pagkakataon. 
Kaya ngayon ay samahan ninyo ako sa araw na ito at ipagpatuloy natin ang kwento ng ating kasaysayan mula sa Kwento ng mga Pangulo Ako ang inyong tagapagsalisay Teacher Jonah mula Kasilak Elementary School. Bago tayo magsimula ay balikan muna natin ang nakaraang kwento. Ihanda ang inyong lapis, ballpen at papel. Sagutin ang ilang mga katanungan tungkol sa talambuhay ni Manuel L. Quizon. Unang tanong, handa na ba kayo mga bata? Mabuti! Unang tanong, kila, kailan ipinanganak si Manuel L. Quizon? Kailan ipinanganak si Manuel L. Quizon? A. August 19, 1819 B. August 19, 1891 C. August 19, 1878 O D, August 19, 1887. Ano ang inyong mga sagot, mga bata? Meron ba tayo mga kasagutan mula sa ating Facebook Live? Okay, at ang tamang sagot ay letter O D, August 19, 1887. Letter C. Magaling! Ano ang inyong mga sagot? Mga bata, eh, meron ba tayo mga... Ang mistisang Espanyol na si Manuel L. Quizon ay ipinanganak noong ika-19 na Agosto, 1878, sa Baler, Tayabas, na ngayon ay lalawigan ng Quezon. Pangalawang tanong. Ano ang buong pangalan ng ina ni Manuel L. Quizon? Ano ang buong pangalan ng ina ni Manuel L. Quizon? A. Maria Ninita Tuasan Quizon? B. Maria Hayuma Quizon? C. Maria Dolores Molina? Or letter D. Maria Perpetua Suelta Quizon? Ano ang tamang sagot? At ang tamang sagot ay Letter Letter C Maria Dolores Molina Magaling mga bata Ang kanyang ama ay si Lucio Quezon Isang guro mula sa Paco, Manila, isa ring retiradong sarhento sa sandathang kolonyal. Ang kanyang ina ay si Maria Dolores Molina, isa ring guro sa kanilang bayan. Pangatlo, Aling Universidad sa Pilipinas kung saan siya ay nag-aral at nagtapos bilang suma cum laude. Aling Universidad sa Pilipinas kung saan siya ay nag-aral at nagtapos bilang suma cum laude. Letter A, University of Mindanao. B, University of Santo Tomas. Letter C, University of the Philippines. Or letter D, University of Litran. Ano ang tamang sagot mga bata? Sagot ni letter ni Dance Angelo Dumanhog ay letter C. Tama kaya siya? Sagot naman ni Orpha Mae Ugay. Letter B. Sagot naman ni Ali Henny Dane Dolorito, ang sagot niya ay letter C at ang tamang sagot ay letter B, University of Santo Tomas. Magaling, magaling mga bata. Noong 1894, siya ay nakapagtapos bilang suma cum laude sa Universidad ng Santo Tomas 
para sa Bachelor of Arts. Pang-apat na tanong, ano ang unang posisyon ni Manuel sa panahon ni Pangulong Emilio Aguinaldo? Ano ang unang posisyon ni Manuel sa panahon ni Pangulong Emilio Aguinaldo? A. Personal Security Guard B. Personal Assistant or A. D. Camp C. Captain A. Letter D. Lahat ng nabanggit Meron ba tayong mga kasagutan sa Facebook Live? Ang sagot ni Orpha Mi Ugay ay letter D, lahat na nabanggit. Ayon naman kay Rihanna Adaro, letter B, personal assistant. At ang tamang sagot ay letter letter B. Very good. Very good mga bata. Ang sagot ni Orpha Mi Ugay ay letter D, lahat na nabanggit. Ayon Next, nagsilbi siya bilang AD Camp of Personal Assistant ni Emilio Aguinaldo na promote bilang First Lieutenant Captain hanggang naging Major na lumaban sa bataan. Panglimang katanungan, ilang buwan bago nakalaya si Manuel L. Quizon mula nang siya ay nakulong. Ilang buwan bago nakalaya si Manuel L. Quizon mula sa pagkakakulong? A. Walong buwan B. Pitong buwan C. Anim na buwan R. D. Limang buwan Tingnan nga natin ang sagot ni Renz Ma Marindukes. Ang sagot niya ay letter B. Sagot naman ni Zachary Glenn Bulliser ay letter B. At um, ayon naman kay Shang, Shang Ski Pala, Pailago, letter B. Tingnan niya natin ang tamang sagot. At ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Anim na buwan. Very good. So, mabuti naman mga bata at meron pa kayong naalala sa ating nakaraang mga leksyon. At ngayon ay pagpatuloy na natin ang ating kwento. Next. At ang tamang sagot ay letter C. At ngayon ay pagpatuloy na natin ang kwento. Handa na ba kayo mga bata? Naging abogado si Quezon sa Baler. Noong 1906, nahalal siya bilang gobernador sa lalawigan ng Tayabas. Ngunit nagbitiw upang makapangampanya para sa silian ng Pilipinas, kung saan nakamit niya ang pagiging pangulo ng asimblea. Tanong, handa na ba kayo mga bata? Magaling! Saan nahalal bilang gobernador si Quezon? Saan nahalal bilang gobernador si Quezon? A. Muntinlupa B. Tayabas C. Las Piñas R. D. Davao del Norte Ano kaya ang inyong sagot? Sagot ni Draker Silas Arfas Sagot ni Shanky Palay Pailago, letter B. Sagot naman ni Rehana Adaro. B. Tayabas. Sagot ni Aliheni Dain Dolorito ay letter C. Ano kaya ang tamang sagot? At ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Tayabas. Very good, Rehana Adaro. Mula 1909 hanggang 1916, Nagsilbi ng pitong taon si Quezon sa Amerika bilang naninirahang kinatawan para sa Pilipinas. Sa panahon ito ay naipasa ang Batas Jones of Philippine Independence na, nagtangha, na nagtatanggal sa kinatawan ng Pilipinas sa Amerika at nagbibigay ng mas mataas na antas na pamamahala sa mga Pilipino. 
ayon sa kanya, my loyalty to my, to my party ends where my loyalty to my country begin. Next. Tanong. Ilang taon si Kiso na nilbihan sa Amerika bilang naninirahang kinatawan para sa Pilipinas? Ilang taon si Kiso na nilbihan sa Amerika bilang naninirahang kinatawan para sa Pilipinas? A. Walong taon? B. Anim na taon? C. Pitong taon? Or D. Sampung taon? So, sagot ni Shansky pa ilago letter C. Tama ba? Pitong taon? Meron ba ba tayong mga sumagot? Okay, at ang tamang sagot ay letter Letter C. Pitong taon siyang nanilbihan sa Amerika bilang naninirahang kinatawan para sa Pilipinas. Next. Si Kison ay tumakbo sa unang halalan sa pagkapangulo ng Pilipinas noong Nobyembre 1935 at nanalo. Nanalo siya laban kina Emilio Aguinaldo at Gregorio Aglipay. Kaya siya ay tinanghal bilang ama ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Masigasig na isinulong ni Quezon ang panlipudang katarungan o social justice. Para sa kanya, higit na mapakinabang ang katarungan panlipunan kung buhat sa damdamin at di sa batas. Next. Tanong mga bata. Kailan nanalo si Quezon sa pagkapangulo ng Pilipinas? Kailan nanalo si Quezon sa pagkapangulo ng Pilipinas? A. November 1932 B. November 1933 C. November 1934 or D. November 1935 Sagot ni Dens Angelo Dumanhog, letter D. Sagot naman ni Shansky Palaigo, letter Pailago, letter D. Sagot din ni Carl Joss Peligro Bautista, letter D. At ang tamang sagot mga bata ay letter D. Very good! Si Prince Marcus Barty, letter D. Noong 1937, nilagdaan ni Quezon ang kauna-unahang batas para sa minimum wage ng Pilipinas. Noong taong din yun, unang bumoto ang mga kababaihang Pilipino sa isang plebisito tungkol sa karapatan ng mga babaeng bumoto o tinatawag na Women's Suffrage. Tanong mga bata, ano ang batas na nilagdaan ni Quezon noong 1937? Ano ang batas na nilagdaan ni Quezon noong 1937? A. Social Justice B. Women's Suffrage C. Minimum Wage or D. Batas Jones Sagot ni Renz Marinduque, letter D. Ayon naman kay Prince Ukat Juan, letter D. Sagot ni Shansky Pailago, letter B. At ang tamang sagot mga bata ay letter C, minimum wage. Sagot ni Gumawa siya ng hakbang upang magkaroon ng wikang pambansa na hango sa isang dialekto sa kapuloan. Kung kaya't ang naging pambansang wika ng bansa ay tinatawag na Pilipino. Ayon sa kanya, ang wika ay isang nag 
ay siyang nagpapahayag ng mga kaisipan at mitiin sa isang bayan. Tanong mga bata, ano ang tawag sa ating wikang pambansa? Ano ang tawag sa ating wikang pambansa? A. Filipino B. Filipino C. Tagalog or D. Bisaya Ano kaya ang tamang sagot? Ayon kay Prince Ukat Juan, letter C, Tagalog. Ayon kay Rehana Adaro, letter A, Filipino. Ayon naman kay Zachary Glenn Bullis, Bulliser, letter A. At ang tamang sagot mga bata ay letter A, Filipino. Filipino ang ating wikang pambansa. Ayon sa kanya, ang ama ng wikang pambansa ay si Manuel L. Quiso. Next. At ito ang dahilan kung kaya tayo ay nagdiriwang ng buwan ng wika sa buwan ng kanyang kapanganakan. Tanong, bakit siya tinawag na ama ng wikang pambansa? Hmm, bakit kaya, mga bata? Bakit siya tinawag na ama ng wikang pambansa? A. Dahil siya ay nagtuturo ng wikang Pilipino? B. Dahil siya ang kauna-unahang gumamit ng wikang Pilipino? C. Dahil mas magaling siyang magtagalog? Or D. Dahil siya ang may atda na magkaroon ng sariling wika ang mga Pilipino? Sagot ni Alisa Kate Romero Bigonia, letter D. Ayon naman kay Prince Ukat Juan, letter D. At ang sagot ni Oprah May Ugay ay letter D. Tingnan niya natin kung tama ba ang kanilang kasagutan. Okay, very good letter D. Dahil siya ang may akda na magkaroon ng sariling wika ang mga Pilipino. Next. Nagkasakit ng tuberculosis si Quezon at namatay sa Serana Clay, Franklin County, New York noong August 1, 1944 sa edad na 66. Ang kanyang labi ngayon ay makikita sa Quezon Memorial Shrine. Nagkasakit ng tuberculosis. Noong nakarang taon ay inaalala natin ang ika-77 taon ng kanyang kamatayan sa unang araw ng Agosto. Sa edad na 66. Anya, I want our people to be like a mulabi tree, strong and resilient. Standing on the hillsides, unafraid of rising tide, lightning and and the storm, confidence of its strength. O di ba? Na iyak kayo jo, na sa iyak kayo doon. So tanong, ano ano ang mga magagandang aral na natutunan niyo sa kwento ni Pangulong Manuel L. Quezon? Meron ba mga bata? Meron ba tayong Uh, sagot mula sa ating Facebook. So, meron ba tayong mga natutunan na magandang aral, mga bata? Next. Ang moral lesson natin ngayon tungkol sa buhay ni Manuel L. Quezon ay maging matatag sa hamon ng buhay. Meron ba tayong mga natutunan na magandang aral? Letter M, manalangin sa Panginoon. A, alisin ang takot. C, tanggapin ang problema. A, ayusin ang pananaw sa buhay na nakatingin sa Panginoon. D, tumayo, tuyuin ang mga luha sa mga mata. A. Alamin kung paano malalampasan ang pagdurusa sa pumamagitan ng salita ng Diyos. At gamitin ang naranasang problema upang patatagin pa ang sarili at maging magandang halimbawa para sa iba. Magaling mga bata!
So, bago tayo magbakas, ay nais ko munang pasalamatan ang ilang mga personahe mula sa ating division. Pansangay na tagapamanihala ng paralan, Renante A. Silotorio, ADB Siso 6. Katuwang na pansangay na tagapamanihala ng paralan, Pibigay L. Rifamonte, CPACC. Hepe si ID, Chief Januaro Iamota. Hepe, SGOD Chief, Aileen Anon Mebo. Tagapa, Masid Pansangay sa Ingles, Dr. Maria Perpetua Angela G. Suelto, ma'am. Ang ating napakagundang tagapag Masid Pansangay sa Araling Panlipunan, uh, Ginang Marisa B. Hayoma. Maraming salamat, ma'am, sa pagbigay sa akin ng ganitong pagkakataon. Punong gulo ng New Visayas Elementary School. Julio, ginoong Julius I. Suelto, sir, salamat at pinagamit mo ang inyong magandang paralan para sa ganitong proyekto. Punong guru ng mababang paralan ng Kasilag, sir, Ruel B. Ramos, at sa lahat ng mga guru, mag-aaral at mga magulang na nanonood sa ating kwento ng mga Pangulo. Higit sa lahat sa puong may kapal, na nagbibigay sa atin ng sapat na lakas sa araw-araw. Babay mga bata! Innovation, Integration, Industry-Based Learning, Inspiration. This is the Division of Panaba City, the forefront of eradicating illiteracy. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Romulo or Joanna B. Romulo of Kasilak Elementary Schools pagbabahagi sa atin ng isang kwento ng ating Pangulo dito sa Pilipinas. Ayan po, sa mga kwento ng mga Pangulo, ito po ang talagbuhay ni Manuel L. Quezon na may nabinigay sa atin ang mensahe na maging matapang sa hamon ng buhay. It needs to be tough as always because May the going gets tough, but the tough keeps going. Ayan, meron po tayong mga kasabihan na ganyan. So maraming salamat po sa iyong pagbahagi ng iyong oras at magandang kwento sa umagan para sa ating lahat ngayon. And this time, ito po ang ating pagtatapos ng ating pagkukwento ngayong, ngayong umaga. Dito sa Unlimited Stories for Reading the Lights. Pero bago po tayo tuluyang maghiwa-hiwalay, Magre-recap muna tayo ng ating mga story readers at saka ang ating mga people interactors na naging bahagi sa atin ngayong umaga, January 14, 2022. Ayan po. Thank you po, Ma'am Joanna B. Romulo of Kasilap Elementary School and of course, Ma'am Michelle E. Suhayan of Panabo City National High School, Ma'am Daryl Horolan, Loberos of San Vicente National High School and of course to Ma'am to Ma'am Richelle Hain Malumbaga of San Vicente Elementary School. Ayan po Ma'am Katrina C. Gonzalez marami din salamat from Brazil Elementary School. Ma'am Mary Grace T. Orion of San Vicente Elementary School and of course Ma'am Evelyn T. Ibanez of Brazil Elementary School and to Ma'am Brenalyn A. Sturis of A. O. Florendo Elementary School. Sila po yung mga storytellers natin ngayong umaga. And of course, ang ating mga people interactors, magpapasalamat din tayo from Mary Chris Fernando of San Vicente National High School. Of course, Faith from San Vicente Elementary School. Benedict Albert Tulio of Rizal Elementary School. Salma Ibrahim of San Vicente Elementary School. Ariana Kate L. Clerino of Rizal Elementary School and Haley Kate Filasol of A.O. Florendo Elementary School. Ayan po, maraming salamat po, guardians and parents, sa pagsubaybay, sa pag-guidance sa atin at sa pagpapahintulot ng ating mga mga buting sudyante na maging bahagi ng ating programa ngayong umaga. Ayan, nagpapasalamat po kami ng marami sa inyo. And of course, magpapasalamat din tayo sa ating mga DepEd officials headed by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Renante Solitario. And of course, to our to our CID chief, 
Surgeon Wario Iyamota to our SGOD Chief, Ma'am Eileen Anunuevo, to our Education Program Supervisor, ayan po, Ma'am Maria Perpetua Angelita G. Suelto, our Education Pro Program Supervisor in English, as well as our Division Reading Coordinator. Nagpapasalamat din tayo sa ating Education Program Supervisor in Filipino, Sir Peter Mijares, to our Education Program Supervisor in in Araling Panlipunan, Ma'am Marisa V. Hayoma, to our Education Program Supervisor in MTV, Ma'am Joanny Aguilar, and of course, to our Education Program Supervisor in Science, Ma'am Helia Pueblo. Ayan, we miss you so much, Ma'am. And sa lahat po ng ating Education Program Supervisor, Public Schools District Supervisor, of course, to our Public Elementary and Secondary School Heads, at of course, hindi na natin pa makakalimutan, napasalamatan ang ating host principal. Ayan, Sir Julius I. Suelto, nga kanunayon din ka ayon, naga-suporta ka nato din ni. Bisan pa magwala siya sa atong school, karong adlawa, para ang iyong preparasyon, para mahin mo dyan mahanay ang ato ang programa karong guntaga. Dili gayon kini, matukid, daghan ka ayo siya, o ganang ginang ginafollow up para dyan mahimong mas mahan ay ang atong programa karong mga panahon na dahan. Kaya salamat sir. Saludo kami sa inyo. Ayan po. And of course, magpapasalamat din tayo sa ating Panabo Cable TV Channel 1 for allowing us to air on their channel to Ma'am Alexander Chu and to Sir James Chu. Ayan. Magpapasalamat din tayo sa kanilang lahat. Makakalimutan din ba natin? Of course, ang ating uh, local, our Technical Working Group, ayan. So, sa maraming salamat din sa sa inyo. Handa ko din kayo suporta, headed by Sir Roland Oves Oveso, ngayong umaga, ang ating controller, and of course, Ma'am Kimberly Absin, nandiyan din sa Ma'am Davila Ramos, of course, ever supportive din sa Ma'am Jenny Moanya and Ma'am Lenny Pausal. Ayan, maraming salamat po for Sir Charlie, for Sir A from Aya, Ma'am Aya, and Ma'am Catherine. Sa lahat po ng ating mga uh, Technical Working Group, Udos, maraming salamat sa inyong kanunayan yun kayo nga, suporta ka natong tanan. Ayan, napapasalamat din tayo kay Sir Jun Aguilon. Ayan po na, siya dyan ang naga, nagahanay po sa ito. Ah. Karong mga panahon na din sa ato ang pag-air pag na to sa TV Aralan. Karong mga takna. Maraming salamat sir. And of course, we just thankful for your time, for for spending your precious time with us sa kanina programa na ito, Karong Buntaga. Sa lahat po ng ating, sa lahat ng mga nanood sa atin dito sa DepEd Panago City YouTube channel natin, sa Facebook Live, and of course, sa Cable TV Channel 1. Sa lahat po ng ating mga tagapakinig, suki, dyan kayo nga, taga, taga pag, o oh, tag, tig paminaw din na sa ato ang kahanginan. Ayan, dyan po sa New Visaya Central Elementary School 99.0 in radio for a good start. Maraming maraming salamat po. And see you again next Friday for our new sets of stories dinilang sa Unlimited Stories for Reading Delights with the partnership of TV Aralan of Panabo City Division. Dagan kay salamat sa inyong pananayon nga. Suporta nganhi sa atong programa. Ito po ang yung lingkod. Mom, Sheila Marie Estilis Reyes, nagsasabi that when it is Friday, it's reading day. Ayan. God bless everyone. Stay home or stay safe. Ayan po. And keep safe. God bless everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, hi.
buhay ay malalagpasan to Basta't magtiwala Tayo'y may pag-asa Kami may tiwala 